Let, let me pause it right there. We, we're joined by a special guest, uh, Mr. Medicare. How are you doing, sir? Oh, what the fuck am I walking into? <laughs> Sorry. Actually, hey, I, got a, actually, I got a fun stream for you to come on, Jim. It'll be all laughs and chuckles. And I walk in and your new fucking sponsor is Kinkum and Soy Sauce or some shit. What are, you, what are you talking about? Fucking feminism and rights and all of this shit about? I thought it was hey, a, a I was laugh factory to, thing. I was trying to tell a story about why I fought a stranger at three in the morning and we got caught up at, at the smallest part of it. Oh, uh, see, I would have summed that up with just alcohol. See, that leads up to the conclusion of the fucking oh, story real no. quick. No, he's absolutely right. I was really drunk when I accepted that Actually, fight. we were having a fun stream, no no serious topics, and then he just happened to, like, just as an aside, say that he was a feminist. and uh, Just chat. as an aside. Yeah, Hi, everybody aside. who's on this right-wing stream. I <laughs> love <laughs> feminism. Oh, my God. I knew this would happen. I knew it was a big mistake to come Medicare, on this stream. It's okay. You actually it's talked about Asterios on your show before. You you mispronounced his last name when you talked about the Maddox lawsuit. Did I call him Asterix? <laughs> he, so no, that's how like, you pronounce it. He said, it. like, no, right. for his last name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm terrible with names. It's just, uh, you know, what can I say? It's, it's a very uh, strange name. It's it's all the alcohol over the years has made me <laughs> semi-fucking retarded. So I, I, I struggle. <laughs> That's why I call uh, I call hyperbole hyperbole. Like it's some My wife does the same sport. thing. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna love that you said that. Uh, I want to thank you, Mr. Medicare, for fucking. You were like one of the first guys to talk about the fact that Maddox sued us all for twenty million dollars for oh, calling fuck, him a fuck cock. Maddox. Maddox is such a fucking faggot. Did you did you hear what your uh, Maddox? We had a guy that went to VidCon and actually talked to Maddox. And uh, did you hear what he said? Did you listen to us a little earlier? So Maddox showed up at Vid. Uh, I'm, I'm imagining. At, yeah, was it a threat to sue more people? Is there, are there more lawsuits in the works? Uh, I'm gonna do it again because I don't think he probably heard the beginning. Uh, it's it's not much. He said, uh, "This is the guy that talked to him." Uh, Maddox showed me some stuff that he sent to the police and his lawyers. It's like 46 pages of dicks, dicks, dick, and his fans doxing, threatening rape and death to him and his friends and family, blackmail, harassment, etc. And the kicker of the lawsuit was only filed because Dick went after Maddox's sponsors. Blah 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 blah. Um, he, he was scheduled to come on this show and then we had Dick on and, you know, that rolled into, you know, you guys and Corinne and all that. And then all of a sudden he decided he didn't want to come on the show. Um, so now he says he doesn't want to, cause he doesn't yeah, want see, to get I, I, I only attention. caught, uh, yeah, I only caught a little bit, uh, yeah. cause I was kind of doing stuff, getting ready for some stuff, but uh, yeah. I caught a little bit of the stuff you had. Like you had some bearded lady up. I was going to ask, are you talking <laughs> about, uh, are you talking about DDQ? Was that the subject? <laughs> oh no. Uh, Ralph? Me? Was it what? DDQ? Yeah. DDQ. Where, was, the, was the article DDQ, yeah. Um, I don't know who that is. No, DDQ, dilation done quickly. Oh, no. <laughs> that's coming up. That's coming up this weekend. It's going to be running for a week. The speed running convention that's full of nothing but trannies. Oh, no, I don't know, but no, I just see, I feel like I walk article. into these streams with you people and you don't know half the shit I'm interested. In. I feel like I'm lost. <laughs> no, last night. Speed so running their transition or something? Uh, yeah, here you I know mean, what, I know Ralph, what dilation I, I, is. That's where the trannies have to take the dildo and stick it in oh. their whatever wound. Forty five. Well, okay, Ralph, for, for, just the, for the education of your audience, would yes. you put this picture up? Um, I'm going to link it to you. I, I don't know if it'll pop up in the sidebar here. Uh, there we go. Mm. Would you put that up on? That it's nothing. It's nothing uh, that's going to get you struck. It's nothing that's going to get you in trouble. Just uh, throw that up, and once you have that up, then we'll continue the conversation. I think it really <laughs> helps to highlight. Okay. What yes, I, I see. I see. <laughs> the subject we're talking Games about. Games done quick. How about I? No, I haven't heard of this actually. I mean, usually, I would be reliant on your Twitter feed, Jim, but uh, I haven't. I, I, yeah, I know. I got put in time out. I did some naughty things. Oh, I yeah. made did fun they of the say English. why that happened? Or you, no, it was uh, it, there was this Brit that was talking shit to me, um, and he was saying stuff like, "Oh, America, America's just as bad as over here," and I was like, "Well." No, it's really not. And I said, you know, let's let's do what did I call it? I said, let's do like a liberty check. <laughs> and I said, I'm gonna uh, we'll take in law enforcement from our local area, right, and nationally, and then we'll make outrageous statements and see who can do that. And so I tagged the FBI and like some you know local police departments and stuff. And I said, uh, Jews did 9/11, Muslims are terrible. And then I said, it's your turn. And I never heard back. From him after. I never heard back from him after that. Um, and so, yeah, like, like a week later, a week later, it gets struck down. I've been put in mm. timeout for, for that because, you know, trying to highlight the fact that so, he, he could never do that. He'd get arrested. for yeah. doing So that. how long was the timeout? Like it had to be what a week or what? 
Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's wow. it's a it's a seven day timeout. But yeah, game's Damn. done quickly. I don't know if you've seen the devolution of this fucking event. It used to be speedrunners getting together and having fun, yeah, but like right. over the course of the last five to six years, it's gotten progressively worse because you can't make jokes anymore. You can't say outrageous shit anymore. Like everything is just it's super oppressive. The atmosphere there. They don't let you do certain games anymore. People are banned outright from even showing up. But the running joke is that there's a ton of fucking trannies in the community um, and I, I have a theory there, would it be possible to not i mean this is like what's the joke here that these people are trans and that they're not beautiful their life is the joke yeah they, i mean but they put a wound into, like, their, into their into their groin no, that never I, heals that's uh, the joke. no i i i i i understand that I mean, like these are just like some trans gamers that are just trying to game, right? Like they're changing the, the dynamic of it. Before I, I've seen games on right a long time ago, and before games you quick, excuse me, go right, quick. yeah, GDQ, not uh, not GDR, uh, R. My bad, but yeah, it was years ago, and they used to just have fun, whatever, play games, and try to beat world records. Um, nowadays, it's more about like doing it right, and you know, you got to be inclusive and diversity and shit like that. I mean, that's like the the whole. That's what's happening to the whole fucking world. Like, and that's a problem. Yeah. It, well, some, I, I mean, I can I can under I can understand people. It's just you know, like well, there's some words that people don't want us to use anymore, and it's but, I understand. I, that it's like a lot what of, would those words be? <laughs> I want to use those words. Wait, did you know, just get sued for three hundred million dollars because somebody didn't want you to use a word? Um. I got sued for three hundred million dollars because my friend fucked that guy's ex girlfriend. <laughs> like, right, I but mean, I mean, one of the big one of the big points was he didn't like being called a cuck. He didn't like the cuck jokes. I, I mean, and thank God a judge struck it down immediately. I mean, the problem with the lawsuit was that I'm in twenty six thousand dollars of fucking debt now. Like that, you know, I had zero dollars in the bank, and now I have negative twenty six thousand dollars in the bank. Like uh, Maddox is such a cunt. Yeah, I mean Maddox is a fucking asshole. Like he fucking sucks. It's just, but it's just when I see this picture, like again, I think like is the only joke here that they're that they're not oh, okay. traditionally Are attractive. You no, 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 no. You can't look at this fuck. Okay, <laughs> you cannot look at this fucking picture and tell me you don't you don't find some things that pop into your mind, even I on have the most basic level, Bobby aside from the, politics. But one the in the upper left hand corner, shot. the one in the upper left hand corner has got a fucking five head. The one at the bottom. Looks like somebody you'd hear. What is that fucking song from Silence of the Lambs? Wild horses, like Narcissa. Goodbye right? horses. Looks like somebody. Yes. Goodbye horses. Looks like somebody that's gonna tie you up in their basement. That dude next to them is fucking bald. It puts so, the lotion on the skin, or else it gets the hose again. Right, but I, this was gonna tie back into my theory on what's going on here because I think I can explain what's going on. Why there's so many transsexuals in this community? Mm -hmm. The World Health Organization just released uh, their official findings saying that. Video game addiction is now a mental illness. I saw that. And I think that might explain it, why we're seeing so many of these emerge in speedrunning and esports. Do uh do trans people not have it hard enough without like Well us they literally don't have it hard or... enough anymore? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Look, look, that's that is that is totally fair. It's just, you know, I'm a comedian. That you know, there's more and uh, more trans people. I try the myself every once in a while, but yes, go ahead. I guess I was no, an amateur comedian. Yeah. No, it. it, it I'm a, I didn't say I was a good comedian. Um, but it's just like uh, there are more and more trans people in entertainment now, and I've got more and more. Like my best friend was was my friend John forever, and then like 20 years later, now she's my friend Joan. Like she was the she was the best man at my wedding, and now she's the best woman. And it's kind of like. Did you just know. dead name her? You fucking uh -oh. cis pig. No, well, That's I, terrible. I, what are you doing? Now I gotta give. Five, I gotta put five dollars in the Bernie jar. I'm sorry. That's, right. That's what you gotta run to do that. Oh, no, I, I'm of the that's opinion me, that that's people me. are are going to do insane shit, and I'd qualify this as insane shit. If you're gonna literally rip your dick off and then dig a hole inside of yourself, that you have to keep. Like the joke here is the dilation. People oh. have this idea that you go in and you get this operation, mm -hmm. and it's like some you know like a dancing cricket pops out like it's it's fucking pinocchio and voila you've got a, a functioning vagina but they've dug a hole into themselves that never ever heals so they've got to constantly stick these these i don't even know how you describe them they're like glass knobs of varying sizes into their into their wound on a daily basis for like hours and hours a day morning noon and night yeah it sounds yeah it, 
It I'm gonna be like real. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I've difficult. you know I've ragged on uh, these individuals before, but I didn't actually realize that till maybe like four or five months ago. Like I didn't realize that they had to do that to keep the wound open. And it's just, uh, it's, yeah. It's, I mean, I mean, girls who get breast implants, like they often have to, you know, they get in, they get cut open, they get these big metal expanders, sometimes put under the muscle, uh, over their rib cage. And like the expanders have to be slowly inflated every month with like a little bit of saline or something. But then at the end of it, you get fucking uh, uh, the fucking girl from Baywatch, Pamela Anderson. Everybody loves her. It's just like, yeah, people do shit to their bodies. And, you know, it's. And when they look terrible and when you do something that looks awful as an end result, you're going to get made fun of. People are going to joke around about that. And a lot of these people that go through this transition look like dudes in dresses with <laughs> flesh wounds in their crotch. That's why it's so amusing to me. And I think to the majority of people. I would, I think I would disagree that the majority of people find people trying to live the way they want to live funny. It's like, you know, people. Well, now, wait a minute. They're, 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 you, you, dudes, you found Maddox. Maddox was living the way he wanted to live, and you, and you found that funny. Like, I mean, it, it, couldn't you say that? I mean. Well, I'm I mean, just glad we stopped debating about feminism and started debating about transgender. <laughs> shit. Hey, that's right. I'm bringing that hotness to the fucking conversation. I'm glad I'm not uh, in this argument because I don't have to look like a cuck or a, or a whatever. Um, yeah, I, you know, like, like we don't have to make a big federal case out of it. I just, uh, I kind of feel like, you know, I've got trans friends, and life is a little bit harder for them than for other people. Like, I remember one time I took my friend to fucking, uh, we went to uh, Harry Potter World. Which is like fucking Disneyland for trans people. It's just like, oh my god, there's magic and there's this, and you can have butter beer and you can do whatever you want. It's awesome. And then like, and then my friend Joan like like she tried to go to the bathroom, and then she came out and she was like, uh, "Can you please come in with me to the bathroom?" Because like there was a guy that was giving her shit. And it's like when it's it's like these people can't even fucking go to the bathroom when they go to Harry Potter World without worrying that some guy's gonna roll up on them. It's just like. Eh. They they got it tough. I I yeah, but I mean, where do you draw the line? I mean, like the butt gay of a people, gag. Gay people know? have it tough. Black people have it tough. Where do we say? They oh, have, you can't joke about that. You, you don't can't don't make fun you can't of make a, a joke about gay a gay person or a black, black people person for being or... black. I mean, yeah, they do, and that's why and that's why we don't use a lot of the words we use because it's like yeah, the you, you don't make stereotype jokes at all. Is what you're telling me. No, I'm absolutely not saying that. Ralph, what stream have you brought me on to? I know I was. What the fuck has this turned into? <laughs> I got invited to a fun stream where I thought I'd make fun you of you. Know, you know, Astros, these guys are Nazis, right? You, did Ralph Whoa. tell you that before you came on here? Uh, <laughs> Whoa. Well, I gotta go. Hey, no, <laughs> I I gotta go. Go. If you voted for Trump, you can't even say any of that. Yeah, you voted if you if you <laughs> muted himself. <laughs> oh no, I've been muting myself the whole time know. because my fucking dog is going crazy over oh, here. Okay. Um yeah. no. We can all think that Maddox sucks. He's like the great unifier. It's exactly. why, it's why, like, I get to talk with people like you guys because, like, you know, we can disagree about some stuff, but you know, there's a lot yeah. that we can agree on. To be honest, we're, we've always said it on the show that we'll bring on anybody in um, whichever side. If oh you're yeah, left. I don't. Yeah, that's that's something we've said a million times, um, and so yeah. No, and I didn't again, expect I'm we would have the great tranny debate here tonight, but you know. Neither you know, did I. You know, well, Ralph, you know. where am I going? Where am I going to take this next? I was going to talk about SCP, but holy shit, I don't no, know how do, that conversation's going to go. I mean, we could always have another breath holding contest if, if you want. Like, <laughs> well, you are the world champion on that. <laughs> oh, I did beat me on that. Yeah, a little bit of brain damage, but you won. <laughs> Right. Why don't you talk about killer. why don't you talk about uh, SCP, please? Because you, you talked about it last night, and I know a little bit about it, but I like I was basically just reading. What well, you no, said. they they went so, in, uh, you know, as a way to say fuck you to all the uh, to the all the uh, humor bigots, I guess. I don't know, uh, but the the joke article, the seventy one forty three one, the doorknob one about the doorknob that was you know uh, asking for it. They went back in and <laughs> made it an they made it an anti joke to to stick it to the bigots. And now they're talking about cleaning up other articles to uh, to make the the site more inclusive. So the science fiction horror wiki is now going to get sanitized. See, now this is, is, a... is that a direct result of your video, or that, that's a direct result of these people being humorless fucks? I mean, you can't you can't start something with an initial vision 
and you know a certain type of community and then watch it get changed over time and i mean you you can look at the absurdity of that and, and any other way i mean it'd be like imagine you made the most liberal fucking website on earth and then three years later a group of people just showed up and decided hey you know what we need some more nigger jokes in here. <laughs> How do you think the original community would feel about that on a really super progressive liberal site? They'd be they'd be like, this is fucking ridiculous. So when you've got like a horror science fiction wiki that's made by people with edgy humor and that kind of sensibility, and then a group comes in and does the opposite of what that was supposed to be, it tends to piss off the community. You're fucking with something that's already established. The group of people that have an idea of what they want. And so these people are like committed to double and tripling down. And, you know, this fucking doorknob article, it's, it's, a, it's a fucking doorknob that people want to fuck. That's the whole joke. Uh, and they couldn't, they couldn't even leave that alone. They went and made it an anti-joke to teach people a lesson, I guess, about finding absurd things funny. Well, and you see that in countless communities. You, you know, we could talk about the gaming community, the comics community, um, just a lot of stuff where people who are not part of the original community, but they try to, you know, pull entryism and, and get in and say, oh, why are you guys talking about this? I don't like this, and this is problematic, and maybe you should change this, and this this is against our, you know, whatever. Hello, fellow I feel, gamers. I feel, like, I feel yeah. like I'm making your guest uncomfortable. I've got a better topic. I've got something I think that now, we boy, boy, Let me say this, because I actually thought of it myself. Uh, you said, you know, you start something with a certain type of community, certain type of ideas. Yeah. Um, that that kind of sounds like like your like your video that you did the little three minute video on on Europe and and the UK and stuff. Somewhere. I am still getting pissed off British people. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this whole this whole I you know idea of like oh oh brotherhood brotherhood how can you make fun of us and you Americans need to stand with us. <laughs> the special relationship, get, Jim. How dare you? Yeah. Well, how about you get off your ass and do something? Like don't don't look at me to be a crutch. I'm not a crutch for the weak. I'm a cudgel for the strong. If you want my help, you'd better fucking help yourself first. Don't bitch at Americans and say, oh, our freedoms are getting restricted. Oh, it's becoming totalitarian over here. At the same time, you don't do anything about it. And then on top of it, you talk shit to us about our First Amendment and our Second Amendment and the way our government's structured and our way of life. It's like they've got this high opinion of themselves, but when it comes down to it, you know, when their back is against the wall and the things are happening that they don't like, they don't do anything. And then they'll bitch and bitch and bitch and say, we didn't vote for the European Union. Well, you voted for the fucking politicians. You voted for the people in your government that helped facilitate the European Union coming about. And, you know, the European Union spawned off those oligarchs that you don't have any say over. So, yeah, no, you kind of are responsible for it. So don't get pissed at me because I'm laughing at you because you need a license to jack off and ride a moped <laughs> and you can't own a gun and sporks are illegal. Well, you know, like you put yourself in that situation. Okay. But, yeah, the amount of... Thank God we're making fun of British people. Some of you can all agree on. <laughs> oh, oh, you, no. you pulled it out of the fire. Now, Mr. what if we started making go. fun of British trannies, though? Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> too far. You have to cross the line on that one. <laughs> they actually might just ban mopeds too, so they might not even have to. The license might not be worth it anymore. But I, am I alone on this? Like, am no, I the only no. one that's noticed that no, they do I, that I a lot? It's well, like I mean, Americans look, I help us. I sympathize with the people who, you know, are in these countries, in these communities, and feel like, you know, they're getting taken over, basically, and they can't do anything to fight it. Um, so I do sympathize with those people, at least with the people who are out there trying to affect change. I guess I guess we could talk about Sargon, maybe, maybe too, uh, here in a moment, uh, with his UKIP Oh, thing. boy, here goes Ralph again. Can't yeah, let that topic Ralph's die. Ralph's obsessed with Sargon. Yes, I know. Uh, but but he did join U UKIP. I mean, he, he's Please out there. Thank me, Daddy. He, he's out there. <laughs> oh, he's, I guess sorry, he's out there trying to affect change, Jim. I mean, how can you, how can you hate on this person? Like, how how can you make fun of him? He's he's an important political figure now. Yeah, well, I, you know, <laughs> I, I uh, I'll let you cover that hot man. I, I, you know, I've, I've got another. I've got another topic. Yes, for you. please do. Yes, go. Are, are any of you aware of Tanacon? What's going on right now? Yes, yes. Z yes. Zidane yes. mentioned it yes. earlier. Actually. Oh, no, it was, it was Monkey. Monkey. Went, oh, yes, that's right. Monkey. Whatever. Yeah, so it got shut down, right? Because like 15,000 people gate crashed the fucking thing. Yeah, they were burning in the sun waiting to get in. <laughs> and this is all because VidCon wouldn't let her in? No, uh, I, I don't know about that. I just thought she wanted to do her own one with like Shane Dawson and all those other people who got Me Too'd. Oh, oh yeah, because I saw like uh, it was some video from her like uh, a week ago or something where she was like an emotional. I can't believe VidCon did this an emotional video, and I thought that meant that like she got kicked out, like what happened to Ice Poseidon and all the others. 
Well, if if she's doing it as a fuck you to VidCon, it worked because she didn't she host it down the street in in Han Anaheim from VidCon, and she like stole half of their uh, people. Oh yeah, no, she blew them out like of the 10, water. Ten thousand smaller. Yeah, yeah, no, she fucking stomped them on that. I mean, people were bitching. They're like, we've been waiting four hours, and nobody's here, and it's a line of like fucking twenty thousand people. <laughs> it's like the uh, the fire festival, but in California. Oh, the fire festival! But um, the the, re the reason I find it amusing, and, and I'm sure you guys, I, I'm almost certain when I checked the stream earlier, you were talking about it, is because it seems like every time this guy shows up at an event, something cucks the event and fucks him over. It happened at Base Mama's <laughs> event, and now it's happening at VidCon because this Tana chick threw her own one, stole all the thunder. Is Monday Matt like cursed? Is he like a living black cat? <laughs> no, wait, let me ask you. Let me ask you this, ladder? Jim. Did God, you see? I love, did you I see? love this guy again. He's making fun of Monday Matt. Did you see? I well, love I mean, wow. No, never mind. I won't make that joke. But did you see the um, tweet that he put out last night? I don't know. I guess you might not be monitoring Twitter's. So did he hit a special it. number on Twitter? We got another crying video. No, he was basically begging uh, Philly DeFranco to to have a drink with him live on Twitter. <laughs> oh um, my let God. me see if, if I can find the tweet really quick. Uh, God, what is it with millennials? I don't. You know, maybe that's not fair. I don't know how old Matt is, but what is it with this generation of you can't just do something? You need it to be done publicly so other people see it. It couldn't be, hey, I'll go find Philly DeFranco yeah, exactly. and say, would you like to have a drink with me? No, I need a camera in his fucking face because it's only important if other people see. Or me send an email or whatever. You know what I mean? Or try, yeah, like you said, try to find him in person and yeah, just walk up to the guy and be like, yeah. hey, can I buy you a drink? Simple. You're done. at the same fucking place. Like you're telling me you can't find the guy uh, uh, I don't well, that's know, really but... sad seeing that tweet with just like 17 likes and, and <laughs> flat out it's explored. bad dude it's really uh, bad he says oh. hey hey philly d where are you at let's get a drink hashtag vidcon 2018 he hashtagged it yes he did so, so i tweeted underneath it because i was gonna send corinne was in fucking anaheim so i was gonna send it to the same bar yeah, yeah, we did have the idea to send Corinne to VidCon, oh, but it was an idea. Yeah, where she shows up and says that she yeah. that Matt got her pregnant and starts freaking yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, last night, I don't know if you saw the second part of the stream, but uh, I was talking about trying to get her to seduce Monday Matt. Uh, I don't know. It cost two hundred dollars to get the bitch into VidCon. I wasn't sure it was gonna be that. worth that much. <laughs> like yeah. so, I kind of backed off on it. But yeah, that, <laughs> but that she was, was she was in Anaheim at the fucking police station to get ice beside out of jail, and she didn't understand how police stations worked or how. Now was she arrested? Because from what I understand, she stole Paul Danito's iPad. Did they put no, her in? Cuffs? No, actually, she was on the after show. Uh, I got her on to on the disc when yeah, I was talking yeah. to her. <laughs> While she was out there, and I was trying to get her to go. I was waiting for Monday and Matt to respond so I could send her. You so actually, I don't know if you saw the other night where we sent her down to Melrose, where there was the uh, whatever civil, civil disturbance going on down there. Uh, now it had mostly died down by the time she actually. Is that the there. one where you got her to walk up to people and be yeah. like, yes. "I want to help you." <laughs> yeah. yeah, I want to help you. I want to be your civil rights advocate. And then she walked up to this candlelight vigil for that rapper that got shot. And she's just like, where's the riot? Ralph told me there was a riot down here. Where is the riot? And yeah, I, I love liberals like her. Like the old out-of-touch liberals that try to be PC but then come off more racist than they intend to. <laughs> yes. Like, are you, are you dark people? Do you need a yeah. white person? You need my help. Yeah. That's literally how she acted. It was yeah, really that's uh, that's funny. the vibe I get from her. It's like she doesn't <laughs> She's just so out of it. She, she fucking doesn't want to fuck the doing. local reporter too. Yeah, she great. got in the local reporter's face, and and uh, also the the police officer. She came. Of course, her cell plan sucks, so she's cutting out every ten seconds or so sometimes. And she goes up to the police officer and starts just I don't know blabbing some crazy shit, and it freezes. So her phone actually stops. Her her mobile plan actually stops. And the police, it's a black policeman, by the way, and he just looks like he wants to fucking hang himself. Like, it just. <laughs> well, have you ever talked? Well, yeah, you've talked to Corey. Yeah, have you ever seen the other cops that have talked to her? Like, no, no I've never seen a cop yeah. interact with this woman and come away looking sane. They all look like they want to just eat their gun. Yeah, My favorite uh, part was when. Uh, when the cops came to talk to Ice Beside and Corinne, they basically were like, all right, look, if you two don't drop this shit, we're going to arrest both of you. Yeah, what did you think about? I don't know if you, I I do know you probably saw Ice Poseidon got arrested yesterday, and nothing's gonna happen to him. I think he just has to pay a ticket. Oh, it, it's a trespass. He's fine. Yeah, I, exactly. I, I was gonna ask Astros. Uh, did Matt ever apologize to you for the shitty fucking video he put up where he didn't even give a fuck about the lawsuit and just talked out of his ass? I I mean it's so like I hate to fucking sound like a one trick pony here, but it's like it's the shit. It's the same shit he did to Philly DeFranco. Is what he did to Maddox. Like, 
this guy's trying to kiss up. Like this guy's trying to fucking get Philly DeFranco to have a Periscope drink with him so that he looks important and feels important. And the moment, the moment Maddox sues all of us, like he puts out a little video where he's like, oh, this is serious. Because he's trying to suck up to Maddox. His Maddox has more body 15 years ago. I don't know. It's just this fucking Monday Mac guy. It sounds like his entire ego and sense of self is tied directly to his EP. And it is, he, the more I talk about him, like the more I just feel really sad for the guy. Yeah, it, it is, the weird thing too is like I've noticed um, when Monday Mad comes up in conversations, he tries to be really banal, right? He tries to be like the white noise of YouTube, where it's like you could, it's so inoffensive, you could have it in the background and not even notice it kind of thing. That's just shtick. Uh, but for whatever reason, when you bring them up to people, and it really doesn't matter who they are or what their politics are, nobody seems to really like him very much. <laughs> no. Would there ever... See, I only know about this guy because he made a video talking shit about me. Was there a time when he was, like, relevant or funny or cool? No. Uh, no. no, don't listen to Zidane. How did this guy get famous? You need to understand, <laughs> Mundane Matt is responsible for starting Gamergate. So he's got a pretty big thing under his belt. You know, oh. Pretty huge achievement. His name okay. is fucking Mundane. That's what he's been his entire <laughs> fucking life. It was right there in front of us the whole time. The last time I checked, don't his videos only get like 4,000 views on average? Isn't he like a dead they're, channel now? They yeah. are doing, they're doing bad. Because well, he, he, keeps, to... he keeps bitching about the algorithm. Like I, I've heard well, a few it people. It is the algorithm. This, it's not that his content's it's... bad. It's the YouTube <laughs> right. hates him for it's some reason. Person. Yeah, it, it always amuses me. Like, yeah, he, he brings up like, oh, it's an algorithm change at YouTube. Like, I, I know this for a fact. YouTube doesn't fucking tell creators anymore when they change up the fucking algorithm because they know everybody games the system Yes. when they fucking tell them. Like, they'll change thumbnails and lengths and topics and everything to try to get pushed forward. Yeah. Um. So, like, it, I don't know where he's getting it's the algorithm. Like, his numbers have been just declining over the last two or three years to where, yeah, he's getting like 2,000, 3,000 views on a video and he's got a what is it like 150,000 subs mm -hmm. yeah I mean we, we we get way more interaction in terms of like percentage it's not even funny to be honest I mean actually it is funny <laughs> think about it but Jim you don't monetize your videos right no no it, well there's there's two reasons one I, I just I don't see a point because I use ad block and then uh, the the second part is there's no way in hell there's no way in hell I'm ever going to get an advertiser on any of the shit that I talk about. Well, You're not going to see a Nike commercial when I'm talking about diaper furs shitting and I show right. Like, that's not going to happen. Well, the reason why I bring it up is that, like, I think part of the new algorithm is that they want to promote the videos that are monetized. But your videos always blow the fuck up. So, I like, I don't even know how that works. Well, it's a lot of word of mouth and people, I mean... No, they, they, they do all right. I, I, I do fine. But, it, like, when I, it always amuses me, and I'm not talking about... Any, people on this call but like talking about matt and that group it always amuses me when they they seem to get really like up their own ass about their achievements like matt really that that plaque meant a lot to him right like oh my god look at what i've accomplished <laughs> and i like to think like are they aware that there are nine-year-olds that have channels that have like millions of subs like they're cat videos <laughs> oh they get a billion god. fucking views like I, <laughs> I fucking forgot my my fucking girlfriend has like an like a 11 year old niece who's like an Instagram influencer celebrity has like it's like 40,000 likes and people like send her clothes and she's nine. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, they never put that in perspective. Like, there, yeah. there are channels that do hundreds of times better than you, and like you're bragging because you've got a hundred thousand subs or even a million subs. It means it means nothing anymore in the landscape of fucking YouTube or social media. Well, it's like, how about having like a good video? Like, forget how many fucking, like, forget how many fucking subs you have. Like, I tried to look at his channel once, and he looked like one of those guys that would, like, go see Solo at 11.59 so he could have the first, like, hot take on Solo. And it's now, when like, he goes to the theater, is he buying two tickets for him and his date, or is it just one ticket? Actually. He's buying two tickets. One for one sheet. We actually had him on the show. By the way, we, <laughs> yes! We we had Monday Mal on the show, and the reason is because there was some Discord recordings, Jim tweeted about it, where he's just ripping on Sean Head and Armin Skabdick, and I think he even ripped on Jim on one of these recordings. Oh, yeah, did he, he said about Blair White, he's what did he say? Yeah, he was yeah, like, I'd rather, I'd rather uh, shoot myself than fuck Blair White, <laughs> yeah. and he was like... 
Yeah. But that oh. was actually funny. Like, I mean, it was actually, wow. If you, if you put that into your videos, maybe more people will be yeah, watching. That's the crazy now. thing. Matt, Matt is stuck in like, I think he's kind of like a wings where like, um, he has to do it the way he does it because if he doesn't do that way, he'll never get monetized. But because he does it that way, nobody wants to watch it. Now, if he did it the way he did in those Discord recordings, people would watch it because it's yeah. funnier, but then he couldn't get monetized. So what does he want? Does he want money or fame? <laughs> it's like he's not going to get either. Well, he's I mean, also like Wings, the NBC sitcom Wings, because he's really banal and unfunny. I mean, <laughs> yeah, there's that's no, just, that's there's no rhyme or reason to what gets monetized. Um, so, like, my streams drop in and out of monetization. Some of them have the N-word. Some of them have, you know, faggot, this and that. And some of them are still monetized. I mean, it just doesn't, like, I, I, I don't know if it's, I mean, I'm fairly certain it's some type of algorithm, some type of computer that does it. But, um, so even the stream where we sent Corinne, that's monetized. Like, it just, I, I don't really know um, what, what the criteria is uh, for monetization. And it just drops in and out. So it could be yellow one day, green the next. Um, so. Well, yeah, they implemented that taking code. I can't remember who the guy that did the video was, but he actually looked at, um, he found it somewhere, somewhere on like the page source and shit. But it's like some code that gets tagged onto your videos, and it like breaks it up into categories, like offensive oh, yeah, title, offensive. Oh yeah, that was Nerd City, something. my friend. Yeah, yeah. And of course, yeah, that I don't use video. I don't use yeah. tags anymore because tags seems to get <laughs> shit demonetized quicker. So I just wasn't well, that the same guy that uh, in the video he also figured out that the satire tag basically <laughs> bypassed all of that. Yeah, I don't think that works that's anymore. That's exactly why it... I put satire tag on every video now. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't. Uh, back to Monday Matt real quick. Didn't Monday Matt make a tweet when one of the Star Wars came out that he was glad like his girlfriend gave birth like a day or two before so he could watch it? Yeah. So did he say that again? What, what did he fucking say? I'm sorry. I need to hear. I need to make sure I heard that it correctly. It wasn't a he tweet. Said, it was a. He did a video. Oh, video. Yeah, yeah. That he, he was On glad his that his wife yeah. gave or his girlfriend gave birth like a day or two before so he could go watch Star Wars. <laughs> uh, 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 was it God. like? What, was it one like, of the good Star Wars? Is like no, it's one of these new ones. It was it's one of these new one. ones. It was Who Last Jedi. Was just so trash. Yeah. He oh, really no. is like the living incarnation of that fucking uh, Nintendo Wojak picture, isn't he? Like the mouth wide open, <laughs> jumping up and down <laughs> in excitement. By the way, that was a picture of me, and I do apologize for taking that picture. Um, I like along it like years and years ago. I spent like a fucking year making like a little goddamn Star Wars comedy series, like called uh, Admiral Akbar's Ads. It's like this silly fucking thing. Like I've read Star Wars novels. I've like played Star Wars rope. I have. I, I, I'm so fucking into Star Wars. But it's like, they're just movies. Like if your kid gives birth, isn't that kind of a bigger deal than uh? You would think, yeah. Yeah, you know, you would definitely think that. He just gave birth, and he was like, "Yeah, okay, I gotta go watch this movie later." Well, he wanted to see Ron Howard's vision on the big screen. <laughs> it's important. Yeah, it's, a, it's something you mark the calendar for and look back on years later. Uh, Fuck your kid's birthday. It's it was the first Star Wars in the last four years to feature a, a male protagonist. He had to see it with his own eyes. <laughs> I did hear that there was an annoying SJW robot. And I haven't seen Solo. Like, literally, oh, I can't okay. oh, doing the thing. Okay. I got it. Oh, Gator, your microphone tries to fucking assassinate you at least once a night. I don't know <laughs> what that is, but it just all of a sudden his microphone wants to kill him. Anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, that, sorry. I was going to yeah. say, I've literally spent thousands of dollars on Star Wars in my life. I have movie pass. I'm currently unemployed thanks to Maddox, and I still have not seen Solo. Something about it, something about those trailers. Now, you know what? The dude they trigger. casted, once I saw who was cast, is Han Solo. First off, I didn't really think it was a good idea in the first place. But once I saw who was cast, I was like, no. Nah, I don't want to see it because I just can't. I don't know. It's comparing him to Harrison Ford, the original Solo. Like, I just but don't you guys are still that. going to see the other new ones. Like You're no, different no. from me. No, like those so, three, That prequel trilogy fucking killed no, us. I, 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 can't, I what, can't watch it after that. It, I just can't yeah, watch they it. Were, they were mostly trash. To be honest. The, the second one out of the prequel tri trilogy was okay. What, the Clone Wars one? That was okay. Okay, um, can you explain this to me? This has always mind-fucked me, right? Um, So the Jedi are supposed to be the good guys, but the yeah. Jedi go and clone a bunch of people to use as fodder <laughs> in war, right? So they're yeah. disposable humans yeah. that die for the Jedi. Yeah. And how are they the good guys? 
Yeah, but wasn't but wasn't fucking Palpatine guys. the president of the Republic or whatever at that time too? Though, yeah. Right. Yeah, All right. But I'm, Yoda I'm made the decision to employ the clone troopers. Right. Right. See, and that fucked up though. When you think about it, like he's yep. they're, they're meat shields. Like we're gonna grow people to throw them into the grinder of war and fuck them. Who cares? I'm a Jedi. Here's here's in, what happened. So Darth Tyrannus, who was uh, don't go to face. Go, go ahead. <laughs> okay. So anyway, super so deep. yeah, I, I'm not gonna go super deep, but basically. Um, Darth, Darth Tyrannus, Tyrannus goes and pretends to yes. be this Jedi called Sifo Dyas, and he goes and creates the clone army. This was all Palpatine's master plan to basically create a super army to eventually defeat the Jedi. So then they walk up on Kamino and they find all these clones there, and then the, the war starts, and they're like, "Oh, well, we need an army. Okay, well, let's just grab these fuckers." Yeah, and then in the first five minutes of the Force Awakens, they're like, "Yeah, we're not using clones anymore." No, actually, and I know some people probably in chat can be like, what the fuck? I liked Force Awakens. I thought oh, it was a good movie. I, I liked it a lot. Last it's Jedi really was copy. complete trash, though. And I watched that, and I was like, it just made no sense. The way it jumps around, it just, just, I don't know, it was terrible. It was The terrible. Force Awakens is just a new hope. No, it, well, it's complete. It's basically like a remake. It's literally, it's literally yeah. the same movie. But no, it's I mean, complete it's a- fan service, so I was like, okay, I like this. But... Last Jedi was terrible. I, I don't even know. And the some of the um like where they lead you from Force Awakens to the last Last Jedi, they just completely trash that. They're just like, nah, fuck that. It's garbage. Ray's just some fucking whore from some fucking you know. She doesn't matter. <laughs> She's not related to Solo or Luke Skywalker. Just some fucking skank whore that got it, fucking. It eyes. was it was yeah. weird when Yoda called her a skank whore. I do agree. It seemed <laughs> out of spirit. <laughs> I don't know. It was just yeah. Just, Frank Oz. He sounded so old. Rats corner off your ass. I will. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. I mean, it's terrible. I like, and then Solo I, completely bombed. So they're struggling to make you know three four hundred million worldwide oh, canceled, on this movie. They canceled all those um, yeah, standalones. They, yeah. Oh fuck! I, I'm sorry, Ralph. Your chat's angry. We're talking about Star Wars. They want something nah. more masculine. So let's talk about Nintendo because that's the <laughs> oh, great. Uh, well, what do you think of the uh, the hackers putting up hardcore porn on Mario balloons and games because Nintendo can't stop them? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> uh, people that yeah, found out how to hack the Switch found out you can upload your own pictures, your profile, and when you play Mario, there's a balloon multiplayer game moving. where your, your profile picture gets put on it, and uh, they're putting up like dick pics and stuff for little kids to come across <laughs> Mario. <laughs> I see this. By the way, we we always have the most interesting uh, switch discussions. You were on here one one night, and we were talking, and it was like three a.m. By the way, and we were talking. What was the name of that game? I don't remember, but some Japanese porn star has a game on oh, the Switch shop. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Hey, what, what happened to the metal porn streams that you were gonna do? By the way. Oh, I'm still planning on doing them. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, that's gonna be great shit. No, I mean you sounded serious about it. That's why I brought it up. Oh no, I'm I'm super excited to have a fucking streaming platform where you can literally show and say anything. Yeah, no, yeah. that's gonna be good. Uh, I think it would be good. All right, so here's the uh, article from Nintendo Life. By the way, before I read this, there were some people. I don't know. I think it was the last time you were on. They're like, "Oh, what the fuck? They're shitting on Nintendo. Fuck that." Actually, I mean, I have a Switch. I like Nintendo a lot, so I don't, I don't know. Anyway, Switch hackers are now forcing adult-themed imagery into Super Mario Odyssey. This screenshot of Mario is uh, pretty hilarious, by the way. <laughs> He's looking like he just saw a giant dick going across his face. <laughs> if you if you keep um, scrolling, he is fucking Peach. <laughs> uh, let's see. A Photoshop dick in his mouth. Look how round that is. Fuck it, put it in <laughs> over. Assuming the position, look at that mustache is just begging for this it. This particular story is by far the most disturbing and upsetting so far. However, yeah, I'm I'm really upset. I just I don't know how I can contain it. Uh, as you will no doubt be aware, if you own a Switch yourself, there are a limited amount of display pictures that you can choose from to set as your p- user profile picture, uh, ranging from me characters to Nintendo favorites. Blah 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 blah. Hackers have now found a way to use any custom image as a <laughs> As a profile picture, therefore being able to display any imagery they like within Super Mario Odyssey itself. When you find another player's balloon, that user's display profile is very clearly visible. And sadly, hackers are taking advantage of this to it's, to display adult-themed imagery in the game. How Multiple- have you not seen the pictures? There's like one dude that's like got his legs spread and he's just jacking off furiously at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> like that's right on the balloon. Mario's looking right at it. Well, here's the thing. You only oh, get to no. see the balloon if you can find where they hit it. 
so like the kids have to earn seeing these pictures. Oh no, like, they're leaving the balloons right at the starting point. Oh, <laughs> oh. kids should have to work for it. It's, I know. It's too easy I wanted. For to, I wanted it to be like finding porno in the woods. Yeah, oh, like right looking there. through a bush and shit. Hmm. Why should it have to be all dick pics? Look at Mario well, rushing for the balloon. <laughs> He's <laughs> running towards that <laughs> Well, uh, by the way, I have a quick question. Are people like hacking the platform or are they uploading JPEGs to Porto? Like when they use the word hacking, it's like, no, no, yeah, they actually are. Uh, okay. You can put a paper right. clip where the right joy con goes and you can, you, then mm-hmm. you can do anything to the fucking console. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah, it's literally that fucking easy. Or you can I, just pay those. What is it? X well, Ralph, who, who you want to see something post? really funny? Uh, go look at the date for the uh, article that came out talking about how to hack the Switch, and then look at the date for when Nintendo named its new president. And it's like a day or two later. Uh oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so all you have to do is um, literally like stick a paper. I-, I looked this up because I thought about hacking my Switch because I had my Wii U hacked. Um, just for educational purposes only, so I can yeah, you upload to get any- some dick balloons. Yeah, just so I can upload <laughs> any game for free that I want on my on my, on my Wii U. Ninety nine dick balloons. Um, but I thought about doing that with the Switch, but I ended up not. Just, but uh, yeah, here's the jailbreak. You can also pay and get a little thing that that does it for you. But it's it's literally all you have to do is take a paper clip and just jab it up in there. And well, they have they have no know. way to fix this. That, that's no, a, they that's don't. the yeah. hardware thing. But I mean, yeah. dick pics and Mario and stuff like that. Because oh, and when the paid online service kicks in, people would have to pay to do it. But for now, it's free until like September. So there's going to be a lot of dicks in Nintendo games for like the next three or four months. <laughs> oh my god! Couldn't they just cancel it? So like, wait, this is directly related to the to the hack problem. Yeah, they were. That's how okay. they're uploading dick pics onto their Switch is by hacking it okay. and then changing it from the assortment that's preloaded for your um, profile pictures into pictures of you jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I mean, look. kids are out of school for the summer. You know, sex ed's not in session. They can just pop in some Mario Odyssey and and figure it all out. Well, I mean, isn't the ultimate Odyssey like exploring your homosexuality? <laughs> oh God, here we go. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, you just so, build a dildo out of a Nintendo Labo armor. Let's see. Let me, let me see if I can pull this up. Here is uh, April the 26th, Shintaro Furukawa. By the way, I hear myself on somebody. I don't know who that is. Shintaro Furukawa is Nintendo's new president. That's uh, April 26th. And then here we have April the 24th. Yeah, it's like two yeah. days. This is, this is the <laughs> Nintendo's Switch can be hacked to run custom apps and games. A nightmare scenario for Nintendo. Yeah, so two days before. Do you think the former president was caught uploading his dick pics to Mario Odyssey? <laughs> <laughs> I have a dishonor of my family. <laughs> <laughs> is he still alive? Yeah, I was about to say. In Japan, they go hard. Yeah, when you fuck up in Japan, they just, you know, you just jump out of a fucking building or, you know, commit. Oh, yeah, they don't fuck her up. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're, yeah. you're done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Get that totally. samurai sword out. You can't dishonor your family over there. Mm-hmm. No shammer for dish spray. <sighs> that what sucks, else? though. I'm sorry, whoever said we need a Nintendo Labo dildo a couple of minutes ago, now that's all I can think about. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody with somebody with some free time and a camera needs to make a video sketch about that and put that up on YouTube. That sounds great. Get on it, Jim. Do <laughs> yeah, let me let me jump. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> You're not your kind of content. Right? All right, l- let me read these super chats while while Dan. I'll put the heat on him. Find another topic for us, please, sir. Find find us another topic. Uh, let's sure. see. Hugh Janice says. I've seen people get the same video strike down multiple times after getting it reapproved multiple times, especially when it was about David Hogg. Uh, yeah, we were talking about Brittany Venti earlier. I don't know if you saw that part, Jim. Uh, got, got a strike on a shoot a video about Shoe on Head. Got that, you know, the appeal was accepted, and then they went back and struck her again. If she that. got yeah, if she got hit a second time, that's somebody at YouTube. That's yeah. not a user report. That's somebody at YouTube overturned it and nailed her. Yeah, she got hit twice, and actually, it made me go back and delete the video that they. Well, I hate online. to be the conspiracy yeah. theorist, but let me be the conspiracy theorist. So, put your tinfoil hats on. You ready for this? Okay. Got it. Uh, you know that whole skeptic group 
of which V is oh, a part no. of. Mm -hmm. If you remember when I got a strike on one of my videos, V was very adamant about messaging me on Twitter saying, we know somebody that works at YouTube, talk to me and I can get it overturned. Mm. Mm. Oh, you know, makes you think. It really gets the noggin jocking. On Interesting. What happen here, yeah. Those almonds. Nah, I couldn't be. But now I've summoned the gypsy. I'm sorry for that because he'll show up. <laughs> oh, hi, but I've mentioned him. That's okay. Uh, I've got something that can ward him off. Leave me alone, Lex! Leave me alone, <laughs> V! All right, Christopher Crow says, All of VidCon looks like a massive Harlem shake. <laughs> Trevin, <laughs> Trevin Colburn says, My girlfriend has PCOS but doesn't have any weird facial hair. I think that was the bearded lady syndrome. I don't know. This chick was probably just inbred. That was Trevor's uh, idea. Oh, he, what did I miss in your fucking stream, man? Uh, I'm watching in your fat, chat said, uh, ask bearded. Jim about shoes diaper. What? What? what oh, diapers oh yeah. So we did a, yes. uh, a dream, a stream. Uh, it seems like a dream, but we did a stream last night where all of a sudden shoe has, I don't know if it's full Kim guard, Kim Kardashian level ass, but it's just way more full and way more thick of an ass that she's ever had. Yeah. And there's, you know, why have, aren't you pulling this up right now? Well, if you give me a moment, I will. Hurry up! <laughs> so, God damn it, I'm losing Sorry. my erection. Move it! <laughs> so the so, implication is that shoe on head wears a diaper? So well, yeah, so there, there were two different options from the chat. So one of them was shoe wears a diaper, which I don't, I don't really think that's, so. Unless, unless, think. unless, uh, unless Gregory, you know, made her wear a diaper. That, he that he is into that type of, you know, domination. And my assumption shit. would be she's just storing her extra wig. So, uh, and look, we had two options on the stream, and I mentioned the third, but basically the two that we had voted on were one diaper. Um, I don't think that's it. The other one was there There are, like, underwear, padded silicone, silicone, excuse me, underwear that you can wear that, like, gives you a fatter ass, and then you can have actually had the ass surgery to make your ass fatter. Um, so I, I guess there would be one. three. No, I don't that think so. Yeah, that looks unnatural. Right. Now, if you it see the ass, uh, especially on the third one, if you look kind of where the pin is, you can see the like curve there. It just doesn't look real. Um, so this is this the type is the of fucking Zapruder film yeah. of an ass. <laughs> Holy this is the type, type of hard hitting Zapruder film. Back into the ass into the leg. Type I of hard hitting content you get here. I mean, I can the, see the the yes. wig hair sticking out of her pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so, not her ass. Anyway, go yeah. ahead. Go ahead, Zidane. Well, the reason this came up is we were looking at VidCon crap yesterday, and we saw this picture, and we were looking at it. But it does look like a diaper. If I had to be, if I had to, it's bet, not a diaper. It's a it diaper. No. It could be. Why yes. is she wearing a diaper? Like that I don't makes know, no sense. She's weird as fuck, dude. Why does she wear like that? Makes no that weird sense. Of course, play. she's self-conscious, though. It makes more sense for her to be wearing that fucking silicone shit to make her ass look. Oh, bigger. that's like, serious. The reason he's making the wig jokes is because she she wears a wig because she eats her hair. Yeah. I mean, she I'm also sorry, wears what? shoes on her head, evidently. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if she had to wear a diaper. She, she doesn't know where eats, things go. She the only, eats her hair. The only thing I the only thing I know about Shoe on Head is that one time Monkey said she was cute. That's it. Uh -oh. Like, I just know oh, her as wow. a cute girl with apparently a very nice with ass. No, hair, no real that hair. Is she not... eats her hair, that poor girl. Oh, my God. <laughs> now she's talked about it. What is the name of the syndrome? Uh, trypto, Trichtophilia. Uh, trichtophilia. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Pull out your hair and eat it. Jesus Christ! Well, I maybe never ate my hair. Maybe it's, it's so more tasty than mine. Because hair has a lot of calories. <laughs> <laughs> Possible. But look at the look. Okay, look at the belt line on the jeans. Like that's not. Look how far it's stick. Compared it's to her normal. frame, look how it's sticking out. Like I don't regardless, know. she's. Are, are you sure this right. hasn't been like edited? This hasn't been like you know somebody I'm, photoshopped I'm, it a little bit because that that is like really it. big compared to what she usually looks like. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Like I mean, possible. It doesn't look photoshopped. You could. I went through the video. It looks like that was an actual screen, but I mean, it's possible. Anyway, that's that's where the topic. You is. should ask Monday Matt to go investigate this <laughs> and get a nice yeah. photo for us. I think he's persona yeah. non grata. Oh, there. He wasn't at their table when they were hanging out all together. Was he? No, he wasn't. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, they're not going to have him. Well, yeah, because it didn't, what did he say about her boyfriend? He called him like the world's said, biggest pussy or something? Said, something about. Uh, he would cry the first like, time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah what he's first time, cry, first time yeah. he had sex. No, yeah. first time he saw a pussy. Yeah. The first time he saw a pussy, he would cry. Yeah. yeah. Which right. I thought was fucking hilarious. Let me read the rest of these. <laughs> PJ Veritex says Beavis and Butthead did women's rights. Excuse me. Did women's right now right? 
I don't know what that means, what? but uh, yeah, I don't know. How much did they pay to say that? $2. Uh, okay, what, well, that sounds about right. I would read the dollar amount, but it's just quick, quicker if I don't, and it just doesn't really matter anyway. I don't, I don't want to, you know, segregate based oh, on the dollar amount. Right. Don't, uh, don't cash shame. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Wasatch Man says, if you think women have it worse than men, that you don't understand the male-female power dynamic, cuck. Women have some benefits, wow. men have others. Yeah. yeah. Will Asterios ever recover? That's my question. Oh my god. By the way, Sargon asked me that about the UKIP. We won't get into it, but uh, the Bone Zone the bone says Doctor by the way, who the fuck is echoing? I can hear that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't know. Hey, I hey me, he, I got my headphones on. See, he, I'm he, on mute. He mysteriously muted himself right after. Uh the Bone <laughs> Zone says Doctor David Duke in the chat. A uh, problematic white knight says, destroy the soy. The bone zone says, Asterios doesn't understand what they did to GDQ. Hunter Theory says, let me at this guy. PJ you know Vera. what? I think you do owe Asterios a thank you because him being such a huge soy boy cuck just made you a lot of money. Oh, man. <laughs> oh my God. You're, I'm triggering people. You're Into right. spending their hard-earned cash. This is like a fucking liberal dunk tank. I love it. <laughs> you know yeah. let's just start talking about trannies again how about we'll, we'll do that next uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> well, somebody suggested they should make a, a a knob labo so that the trannies can also play with the nintendo labo oh oh no <laughs> pj veritex says Jax from mortal kombat 2 was the first handicapped black person of diversity <laughs> in video games forget <laughs> battlefield 5 uh Xanthus one says, "Tell this guy I said hi to his wife's boyfriend." <laughs> <laughs> Peter Piper says, "Love the kill stream, but listening to why men shouldn't talk about feminism, etc., with no pushback, almost made me stop watching." Hallelujah! 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 <laughs> yeah, it's easy for me to say. Hallelujah! How about that? I'll say it like that. Hallelujah for Mister Medicare ex machina to save the day machina yeah whatever i've had a few drinks cheers from memphis by the way yes cheers that's where i'm from as well jessica eustace says trans is the new emo fad and most play most play pretend making light of people who actually have a mental illness they're the ones who are transphobic dick kilroy what? says trans people live a belief system not grounded in reality well i mean that's kind of hard to deny. Um, I was like, we are going back into the trans discussion. I'm man. not bringing us here, though. I'm being good. They think <laughs> solely. Somebody's being bad. They think solely instead of soily, which would have been good. Uh, on emotion and feeling and not logic or reason, you support this lie. I think he's. I think that person's talking to you, uh, Asterios, not me. Well, well, don't we all <laughs> just live solely on emotion? And then we're like, I don't know, but I'm smarter. It's like. Yeah, we're all just like weirdos. Um, I'll leave it there. I I'm gonna trust the guy who donated the money. Yeah, it was a full five dollars American dollars too. Um, white slave owner says we're <laughs> we're taking Western Australia as the ethno state, all of it. A man every mile with a high powered weapon, no mercy. Disgrace is worse. And spiders, than and spiders that can kill you. Yeah, disgrace is worse than death, he said. White slave owner, this white slave owner. Then said, I'd rather drink bleach than drink with those two homos. <laughs> uh, zero Zero says, Cuck only likes making fun of white people. Uh, Incel Casanova says, My pipe dream, sending Corinne to South Africa to report on events. You know, she's a civil rights activist. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy Riggs says, Monday Matt has no principle that he will ever stand on. He crumbles like a fucking Twinkie that got stepped on when anyone confronts him up front. Pop TV says, what's up, losers? And then I think, oh God, like four more popped in while I was reading them. How about this? I will read those four after Zidane introduces another topic. I actually have one. So, yes, yes, yes. Have, of course I do. Um, so a couple weeks ago, serious, you were on a podcast and you talked about Jordan Peterson. I linked something in the chat. Maybe we can bring it up. I was just wanted your uh, opinion on, just play him, that. Right? Uh, on him and as you know, and Jim's and uh, Mon Monkey Jones is on Jordan Peterson because we all have we've talked about him. It's a not times. easy being green. 
Um, and people know what's Is that the clip from doing. Comedy Central? That's what I'm... Yes. Thinking. Yeah. I wonder if I should play that. It's vodka. The Civil Rights one? No, that's that's a good one. That's that, funny that, watching that is, It's is, hilarious, isn't it? Right, fuck maybe it. Just the, maybe it just the audio. Nah, fuck it. Jim's hyped me up enough. I'm just going to play it. All right, hold on. <laughs> if we get the strike, yeah. I'll just blame him. Whatever. Well, that, right. that, that clip came out recently. Um, I mean, it's only like 45 seconds or yeah. whatever anyway or something. All right, hold on. Let me dig it up. Can somebody briefly red pill me on Jordan Peterson? I don't even know who that is. Oh, uh, he's the guy wait, that believes what? that everybody's a lot. Clean your bed, something? wash your dick. <laughs> oh, okay. Why well, is that all I need to know? Pretty much. I mean, basically. Clean your bed and wash your dick. He said that. <laughs> he, he, clean your bed, wash your dick, and lobster. We'll play the clip. And by the way, lobster. we had we had Vox Day on this show, and he was he was kind of hard on. Uh, oh, he went in. Yeah, he was hard, hard on Jordan Peter Jordan. Jordan Peterson. He was saying, "Oh, he's he writes about." You know, fantasies about his cousin and fucking her and all this shit. Like, I don't, I, I haven't read any of that shit myself, but, you know, he actually does write about that, turn, you know, come to find out. He writes about fucking his cousin? Yes. Yeah, that he had these dreams. And, and eating her. her. And eating her, yeah. Yeah, and eating oh, her. Swear oh, to God. Yeah. That's like, so when Vox Day was on the show saying it, I had never heard anything about it. But afterwards, people were, like, you know, spamming me the actual fucking. Exactly. Yeah, he Same. did. He did say. I was that, like, uh, "What the fuck is this?" I was. Yeah, yeah, he literally said that. Um, now he was talking about a dream of his. Um, I personally never had. Oh, those see, now you're killing me. Okay, you made it. You built it up like this guy's got like a secret fucking now, life I mean, he, he where he talks about he fucking family that. members. I mean, have you, okay. ever, have you ever dreamed of fucking and then eating your cousin? I don't. I don't know. Well, no, but you can have crazy fucking dreams. I the thought he was like write writing. Writing. No, he uh, did just, write about it though. He, he no, no, no. Without oh, a dream, I thought he was just like talking about like, hey, I'd like to fuck my cousin and eat her. There was also. There's also he. The thing is, he also went deeper into it with Vox Day, saying how he like really is into dreams and believes that they're real and puts nah. special emphasis on them. So, so that, in addition to like him dreaming about that kind of stuff and writing about it, paints a different kind of picture than just my dream know. is trying to give uh, me a message. I will say this: I will say this. Dreams are one thing. Whatever. If I had a dream like that, I wouldn't personally feel compelled to. To write about it and share it with the world, but maybe he had a different take. I don't know. I don't like having anything against the guy or anything. I just thought that was um, fucking, do you guys hilarious want to hear, that you would actually write that and put that out. Yeah, go ahead. If you guys would like to hear how liberal I actually am, last night... Have you had dreams I like had that a, as well? Uh, last night I had a dream where I was like at a paintball party in college, and Louis C.K. was there, and I shook Louis C.K.'s hand. And today I have felt guilty about it all day. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Louis C.K. kick head? you out of like a pilot episode of his show? Oh my God, I forgot about that. But yes, when I was 25, I was working on Mad TV. And, uh, and I got invited to go see a rehearsal of Louis's HBO sitcom, Lucky Louie. And it was the funniest thing I had ever seen. And in he, real he tried life. to argue with him about trannies and he, he shut you down. He kicked you out. He's just too logical and I'm too emotional, guys. <laughs> um, he's got science. No, what happened was it was like the funniest thing I'd ever seen. There was this like scene where Louis C.K. has to really quickly eat three bagels. And he's doing it in front of me. And it's so funny watching this guy eat these bagels. And I'm laughing so hard and so loud. Then a PA walked over to me and said, Louis is very uncomfortable with you here and he wants you to leave. <laughs> and I got kicked out. Apparently he thought I was some sort of crazy super fan. God, and now, now like look the, what the Chappelle and Chappelle now show. look what happened to him, that motherfucker. How dare you? You got me too, bitch. Now what'd you say? I do Jim? have a question. Sounds like, wait, wait, wait. What'd you say, Jim? It sounds like what? That sounds almost exactly like what happened with, uh, kind of what happened with Dave Chappelle. He quit his show because he yeah. was doing some fucking skit, right, where he was making fun of black people, yeah. and one of like the PA guys was laughing really hard, and he got really uncomfortable about it. And he thought, because he's what like am the I doing? white guys laughing so hard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Never went up to I talk. I was to working like, at Comedy Central when. Oh, sorry. No, no, go, go ahead, man. Oh, I was gonna say I was working at Comedy Central when that happened, when when Dave Chappelle fucking left. And like there were all these weird conversations in the hallway of like, can we somehow make a new season of Chappelle show using outtakes and cut scenes? And we did. like, yeah, 
Exactly. And they kept saying, like, ah, should we do it? Should we not do it? It's, is it moral? Is it right? Um, the other dude, I, what, what was the name of fucking Chappelle's co-creator, the white guy um, on Chappelle's show? Hold on, let me look it up. Uh, well, Neil anyway. something, Neil something. Yeah, and yeah, 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 Neil something, Neil Purcell or Neil something. Uh, apparently, like, Dave Chappelle called that guy from, from Africa. He was, like, in South Africa on a retreat. Um, and he said, if you make season three of Chappelle show without me, I will never talk to you again. And then the Neil guy took the money and they made like a weird third season of Chappelle show with like Jar Jar Chappelle, like no. digi CGI Chappelle. And it was just weird. Did that yeah, ever that, air that anywhere? Like, yes, like it that. absolutely aired. Chappelle Show because is one of the classics funny. of television. Like, yeah, and it was Neil Brennan, by the way. And the the I think that was the third season of Chappelle Show. There yes, are still some like there are like the most of the season is just weird, like you said, because it's like incomplete and they're just splicing shit together. But there are still a few classic skits even in that season. But yeah, it was Neil Brennan. That was his name. I just looked it up. Yeah, but wasn't most of the funny shit coming from like Charlie Murphy and stuff? Like yeah, he yeah, was doing, yeah, uh, was... what were the skits where he would like fucking retell Hollywood stories and shit? Uh, and people he met? Yeah. Charlie Murphy, Real Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood stories. stories. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. shit was fucking yeah. amazing. I love those. Yeah, Charlie Murphy became like a much bigger part of season three because of the Prince episode. And uh, there was one more really funny Charlie Murphy episode. Yeah, it's... Uh, kind of sucks for everybody because it's kind of like on one hand like you don't want to betray your longtime friend and the guy that made you famous but on the other hand it's like oh well, well a lot of people are gonna lose their jobs because Dave Chappelle went to Africa and never came back let me just say this rest in peace Charlie Murphy yeah oh All my right. god you're right let me go no wait did, did you wait one one quick thing did you say you were at Comedy Central when this happened yes I, I, w I was a fucking intern at Comedy Central and fucking one day Dave Chappelle goes to Africa and no one knows where to find him. Well, Ralph, I, th I think you've got breaking news on your show. Because the guy that said Louis, K is Louis C.K. threw him out for laughing, right, is at the Chappelle <laughs> show when Chappelle quit because some white dude was laughing at him. <laughs> <laughs> My God. We you? found the motherfucker responsible wow. for canceling Chappelle. Look, I just find the N-word hilarious. So sue me. <laughs> well, you're in the right place then, sir. Let's just oh, put it that way. God. Finally, my people. Fuck yeah. All right, let me play this clip. You missed out on your chance to play the Sargon clip, Gator. That, that's where you really should have hit the... I gotta save that. If I overuse it, then it's oh, not funny come anymore. come on. That was it, though. All right, sorry. It's not my soundboard. All right, uh, Peter Norway, this is the clip. How had Jordan Peterson never heard this extremely basic counter-argument to his position before? Let me go ahead and play it. It's 42 seconds. Please don't uh, DMCA me, Viacom. I apologize. It's fair use, fuck you. Making people bake a cake for a gay wedding. Making them do it? Yeah. I don't think that's a very good idea. But here's the argument, so should they be able to deny making a cake for a black couple if they don't like black people? Allowed to? Probably. That doesn't mean it's right. Okay, so then we had the civil rights movement yeah. where they said black people, we had to serve them in your restaurants and yeah. stuff like that, and it did work, and it did make our society better, but would yeah. you argue that that still wasn't right? No, that was right. <laughs> why Why is that different to now if you didn't want to make a cake for black, black people? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not different. Yeah. Maybe I was wrong about that. Maybe I was wrong about that statement I just made, what, 15 seconds ago. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's uh, Jordan Peterson. Maybe MLK was wrong. Uh, maybe. Any thoughts on that uh, clip, panel? I think, you know. Well, the audio didn't play for any of us. So, yeah. unless they were oh, on no. the it, it, it was in the chat. Like. Oh, oh, fuck yes. me, that. <laughs> yeah, I, you said you saw it already, Jim. Come on. No, I did. Yeah, I thought it was funny. I thought it was. Okay. He, he worked him into a corner with that. And then Peterson, rather than, <laughs> I guess, trying to back up his original point, was just like, yeah, it's wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm wrong. <laughs> Instead of I sticking to, to his principle that he had just stated, he just said, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, I guess that was wrong. Yeah. It's better that he says he's wrong than he pulls out some sort of weird science bullshit like he always pulls out to justify whatever his position is. I mean, it's is like, it really better, though? Because he just looked like a complete retard. Like he he should have called him a lobster and walked off set. <laughs> yes. well, he should have crab walked off set sideways going clack, clack, clack. 
So, like, does this guy tell gay people to clean their rooms or something? What's what's the deal with that? He's he's the internet's. Uh, the best way I can describe it is Peterson is like the internet surrogate father. So, like, you know how oh. there's so many broken homes in the United States? Like, that's a recent trend over the last 20 years. Like, he's the guy that's filling the role as a surrogate dad telling you to wipe your ass and clean your oh, room. Oh, good. And they're treating him like he's fucking Socrates for that. <laughs> my, uh, my fucking Sriracha read his book, and apparently it's just very basic self-help. Like, yeah. wake up early. Hey, go to sleep early. They eat good. Exercise. Stand up Don't straight. Don't forget to wash your shower. penis. Yeah. It's, it's like, yeah, it's kind of hard to argue with a lot of that shit. It's because it's basic. You know, the outline of the book is, it's just basic fucking crap. Like, your dad should have taught you. That's all it is. See, that's it's the thing. Like, There's so many like, people whose dads didn't actually teach them any of this shit because they don't know their father. It's like the dumbest fucking thing and he's super popular be because of it um and just like you know just basic bitch uh talking points he's not controversial in the, in the least bit to be honest yeah but for canada he is like he's, he's super controversial. Dude, if any of us went to canada we'd be like fucking we'd be shot we'd be executed <laughs> on the fucking spot i around. think mysterios would be elected president oh, oh yes my god i would love, love to <laughs> yeah, you would be fine. The rest of us would be on fucking wanted posters. <laughs> did, did they just fucking legalize weed up there, right? No, no, October. Oh, I can't wait that long. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, October. Finally, Trudeau's one thing that he basically ran on was let's make weed legal. It took him how long to do it? Two years. Uh, yeah, a long time. He said he was. Well, he knew that that was pretty months, much right? it for him after that. Once he once he did that deal, then he was he was gone. That's it. Yeah. There's a there's a fucking Trudeau boxing match too, isn't there? Yes, yeah, Trudeau was, was a actually boxer. a fighter. Yeah. yeah, he was he was a uh, drama teacher. No wait, can you can you call a guy a boxer that got knocked flat on his fucking face in the <laughs> only mean, match he, that he fought? Like, can what? we say that's a boxer and not let, just let a punching see. bag? He's oh, wow, punching bags no, are we're very we're important, important in boxing this now, right? Right? <laughs> I mean, I think he tripped on his fucking shoelaces. I, <laughs> like, it no, wasn't a very impressive fight. No, he got punched in the face. Yeah, I see it uh, right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it up, Trudeau. Oh God, Ralph, if you can find the clip, because yeah, he was an actor or a model or whatever. Do you have yeah. that clip where he tried to do like a drama reading of a speech where he just walks out, gives a speech, and it's so fucking terrible? It's like a drama uh, fucking thing, and then he leaves it, immediately. Yeah. I can find it. Yes. Wait a minute. Is Trump a better actor than Trudeau? Oh, fuck because yes. Yeah, Trump, think about it. Uh, yeah. Years. Trump is when, better in everything when, than Trudeau. When Trump shows up in Home Alone 2, you're like, oh, thank God. Like, Mr. Trump is going to help Kevin. If Trudeau showed up in Home Alone 2, Kevin probably would have ran. He tried to get it, by the way, if you found it, Zidane Gator posted it to me. I'm looking if, for If right Trudeau now. showed up in Home Alone 2, he would have given immigration status to every one of those pigeons that crazy bitch had before. <laughs> <laughs> or lucky Trump showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Something happened. Or sweet pigeons need asylum and bread in that order. <laughs> what is that fucking video? He looks like a little boy in this boxing outfit. Yeah, this Look is at, boxing he looks like he's cosplaying as a boxer. Oh, hey, I'm sorry, real quick. Uh, one of your super chatters asked, what do you call a man with a one-inch dong? And I think it's mundane Matt, so I, I hope I hope that helps. <laughs> um, we're, we're still looking for the drama video. God, damn, I've seen that, too. It, it, it's fine if you can't find it. Yeah, that always just stuck with me. Like, that made me feel like he was just the phoniest asshole that's ever existed on the planet, because it's just so over-the-top and dramatic. I mean, we found the box. If fucking video. Trump took that, I'm telling you right now, if Trump uh, took that uh, monologue and walked into the G7 and did a much better job, I would vote for Trump in 2020. Dude, Trump did the most. Just totally cucking Trudeau. That would be fantastic. He literally he did. did that just the other day. He threw Starburst on the table and was just like, <laughs> don't say I didn't give you anything. That like, was, what the fuck? Are you serious? That was, that was the Merkel, but yes. that was. Yeah, the but most... they were all at the table, Trudeau, and yeah. all of them were standing around the table. And he's like, here, don't say I never gave you anything. Those are a bunch I, of I fucking also love Starbucks. how Merkel is like a, a punching bag, too, in international politics. Because <laughs> didn't Putin? Set up a meeting with yeah, her with his dogs, and she's like, yeah. he's yeah. definitely afraid yeah. of dogs. He knows yeah. she's super afraid of dogs. And there's a picture of, of Putin, and you know they're like doing the you know photo op where the world leaders are sitting in the opposite chairs. 
And Putin has these two giant fucking, like, I don't know, super red They're like Labrador. Dobermans he fed horse steroids to. Yeah. <laughs> They're fucking super huge. And, and Merkel just looks like she's shrinking up in her chair and they show Putin's face and he's just got like this sly smile. No one, like, oh man. It's so fucking funny. I can find Putin, that for sure. Putin's I like, I, like I would like to get the dog from the episode of Game of Thrones, please, where dog eats man. <laughs> <laughs> Merkel. <laughs> oh, he's. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh man. It's, it's not that, but it's it's like a black lab. Yeah, it's it's, but it's like a super huge black lab though. Yeah, it's not big. like. Yeah, yeah. I, I linked two pictures. When are these two Canadians gonna punch each other? Yeah, let's, like, let's... yeah, it's a black lab, but it's it's. Here, here, I'll pull it up right here. Yeah. <laughs> the look on Bowen's face. Yeah. That's it's what really makes funny. it. But he did that. Yeah, there it is. He knows. He let the dog in on purpose. It's great. Yeah, because he knew about that already because the fucking KGB oh, or whatever the fuck they call him now, FSB, KGB. told him they about know that. everything. This is right out of the Americans. <laughs> uh, super chats. Peter Piper says, Tranny is the only oppressed group that can get national praise, TV interviews, and magazine covers for carving themselves up and putting on a dress like a queer loony turkey. <laughs> Know where that comparison came from, but uh, Incel Casanova says, "Do you think they got the Asian chick to keep Ray and Finn from a relationship because proud black women would have lost their shit?" I don't even know what their thought process was. Uh, Alakirio says, "Asterios, the feminist objectifying shoe woo. What the fuck? So misogynistic." Uh -oh. I can you have to flog yourself for that one. No, no, no. I'd like. What about to point what's out her name's titties earlier too? You were going off oh, about. I'd like to point out. That one of the tenets of feminism is that women should be able to do whatever they want with their bodies. Go Even wear diapers. Clubs, give <laughs> us ah, another tenet of feminism is that men can't comment on women wanting to do anything with their bodies. Uh -oh. But I'm a male feminist, so checkmate. Uh, I'll make the next joke on that. Just now, this <laughs> <laughs> we know where the it's going. The next joke from male feminists is, oh, I just had to hire a fucking lawyer. Yeah, Chris, anyway, Chris um, Hardwick. Oh, yeah. God. How many fucking lawyers do I have to hire this year? Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, Doorman360 says, Sadist and BDSM seem to be limp-wristed sissies. The Hive Under says, Asterios sucks the sweat off a dead man's balls. Which sounds disgusting. That's true, Asterios? <laughs> Did you actually do that? Uh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I have no comment on that. Oh. His lawyer says no comment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I've been instructed by my counsel not to answer whether or not I... That's a, that's uh, a good yeah. lawyer. Nick when Balls. in doubt, just don't say anything. Ashes says, is Medicare planning any more SCP videos? This shit is hilarious and enraging at the same time. Well, no, I've got a video coming up I'm sure Asterios is going to love because it's about dilation done quickly. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Just yeah. let them play video games. I'm going to make a dedication. In fact, I'm going to say you financially supported the creation of this video. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> don't please tweet don't, that video. Please at don't mention patreon.com slash Asterios. Please, don't please. remember, guys. Don't tweet that video oh, to Asterios. Well, can't go back to L.A. then. I, was, I had a nice <laughs> life there once. <laughs> Just put Asterios right. Coconuts in the tags of the video. So when you, oh when you look at it pops up. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna have to change my name to like Asterios <laughs> Jones. In, in the description, right? Asterios Coconuts wrote this script. Oh god. Well, actually, I would like credit. I'm gonna be more credit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that. Wait till you see the video first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Scott in the super chat says, "Jim, call me an N word. I need this." Oh, well, if you can't even say what yeah, word you want me to say, I'm not going to call you. No, that's you what it. he said. That's what he said. So, yeah, okay. No, no, yeah, yeah that's what I'm telling okay, him. Like, okay, if, okay, if, okay. if you want me to call you something, you got to type it out. you got to be the brave one here. I think that's a fair request. Uh, Mike D says, white refugees only. Asho says, <laughs> does Asterios know Peach Saliva's boyfriend? Um, I've never met him. Uh, Peach Saliva is a, a, a very old friend of mine. We've been friends for like half a decade now. Uh, I've never met him because he's he fucking lives in Canada, but he's the funniest guy in the world. It's uh, it's he's, he's one Justin of the super bad friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Justin Trudeau. That, it's that amazing actor slash boxer, Justin Trudeau. Wow. All right. The the Highlander says send Corinne to ISIS camp as our reporter. We actually were uh, talking about sending her to one of the migrant camps or one of the uh, immigration protests. So that that is possible. 
Uh, not so- sorry. Says he banned Faith Goldie from a free speech talk. I believe they're talking about Jordan Peterson. I did yes, hear some stuff did. about the yeah. So he did because she got too hot to handle as a property. Apparently, that's w- was almost his words exactly. She is pretty hot. To yeah, handle, and it wasn't though, because so. that was the thing that always uh, bothered me about that was it was the association he didn't like. She didn't say anything outrageous. She went on to a podcast yep. that they found distasteful, and so because was- of the association of going on a show she was blacklisted from showing up at a free speech event and they justified oh, it saying shit. that's okay yeah, that's it kind of ties into what it, the the interview thing like if you're going to make a statement or if you're going to say stand you stand for something, yeah. you stand for it you know even if you look like an asshole i mean you got to admit that comedy that was comedy central right the yeah. daily show or what was that interview from uh, the oh, jim, jim jeffrey Jeffrey's show which is on oh, comedy central yeah, yeah the jim jeffrey that was funny like he walked him into that perfectly it was a good gotcha you got to admit uh, but oh, I yeah. would have had more respect for Peterson if he didn't immediately back down and duck his head. I bet if you go to Jordan Peterson's house, his bedroom is just a fucking mess. <laughs> oh my god, and his penis is probably filthy. <laughs> he hasn't groomed that shit in weeks. I fucking know it. Alright, a few more super chats. Edmund Ploppy says Jim Jeffries is a faggot. Hate that cunt. Alright. Uh Dogmunt says Jim Jeffries eats his own cum. <laughs> Incel Casanova says, my dad can beat up your dad. Oh, sorry. Leckendrick. I don't get the rest. Okay. I read it anyway. A white slave owner says, what do you call a man with a one-inch dong? Just in, and I think we, we finished that with Monday, Matt. Klausen, Lord of Virulence, who I haven't seen in a while, says, Space Force is all fun and games until the aliens show up. Gear says, Asterios voted for Trump 2016. What do you, what do you say to that? That's true. That I did vote for Trump, yes. And you missed missed out on the part I where will. he wanted to send trainees to concentration camps? Is that... <laughs> I know. No, that wasn't like, an explicit part of his children. agenda. No, I... Uh, well, what, I fucking lost a bet, and I had to vote for Trump. You lost the bet. I'm, not, I'm, abs- I'm absolutely... Inf- I'm Wait, absolutely you lost the bet, kidding. so you sold your voting franchise? Is that, is that what you're telling us there? Yes. That is exactly what happened. To fucking Dick Masterson was like, I'll debate you. Trump versus Hillary on the dick show. And I go to myself like, well, this is an opportunity to, to try to sell Hillary to people that I might be the only person ever that tries to convince them not to vote for Trump, you know, cause it's like, we're all in our fucking bubbles now. Like all we do is like, we only read the Huffington post or we only read Breitbart. Like there's no I fucking agree crossover. With that. Yeah. yeah. And so, and so I say to myself, yeah. like, you know what, I'm going to get in there and I'm going to fucking take the biggest swing and I'm going to goddamn win. And then I lost, uh, by 7,000 votes. <laughs> and, <he's laughs> in the and I'm not kidding. There's a, cl- there's a clip of me just screaming bloody murder. <laughs> Because it was, I got a thousand votes and Dick got 7,000 votes. He beat me by like a ridiculous margin. And so on video, I, I literally, I got an absentee ballot. I showed myself voting for Trump. I had witnesses there. I sealed it and I put it in a really big fucking, I put it in one of those gigantic mailboxes that looked like fucking gonk droids. And I was like, I voted for Trump. I'm a man of my word. And it was your vote that put him over the edge and he won the whole thing. (laughs) Yes, that's why he won New York. That's exactly what happened. (laughs) By the way, here's a question from the regular chat. Believe it or not, I do read the regular chat as well. Zycon B, Zycon B, uh, asked me a question. He said, Ralph, ask Jim what Peterson's answer should have been. What Peterson's answer should have been? Yeah. If I remember the setup, it was you agree that uh, it started off with him saying you agree that uh, the baker should be able to deny service to somebody. Yeah. And Peterson's like, yeah. And then he said, well, what about the? Do you you know agree that civil rights were important? And Peterson's like, yeah. And he said, well, civil rights prevented people from you know uh, telling people they couldn't receive service because of their skin color, or religion, or whatever like that. And Peterson's like, yeah. So he said, now do you still agree with the bake the cake thing? And he's like, no. I don't know what Peterson's uh, answer should have been. I mean, I'm not the big brain philosopher on the internet here, but I would imagine that he would have thought it through more to see that as being a point somebody would have raised. Yeah, exactly. If you're going to go around. A and, good point. and that was the tweet. It was like, what, what did he never expect this line of questioning? Like it's, it's you, you think basic. that would be the opener really. Yeah, right. Yeah. Especially if you're going to go on television, especially a comedy thing. 
that they're gonna fucking come at you with something. Good. Yeah, but but like that's what happens when you fucking surround yourself with people that believe exactly what you believe. It's like nobody gives you the basic challenge. Well, so if you I never was, have to develop the defense. If I was Jordan Peterson, I would have pointed out the leap in logic of uh, one instance. It's a gay couple. The other one is it's a race thing, and the the baker's doing it out of his religious beliefs. Uh, denying uh, being racist isn't a religious belief. So I, I I don't know why he didn't even think to mention that at all. No, Mumkey, you're saying that like you've never heard of the Church of No Niggers. <laughs> no, <laughs> no I'm, I'm, a, I'm a devout follower. No, wait, actually. Is that is that a real church? Uh, it will be next week when somebody <laughs> thinks that's a loophole. <laughs> I just Googled really quick because I thought that might actually be a house of worship here in the United States. <sighs> Oh God! Um, <laughs> oh, somebody wants to know: Do Muslim bakers have to make my bacon cake? Good question. Um, I guess it would, the same answer would be for you know Christian baker. We'll have to ask eat. Jordan Peterson. <laughs> well, no, Peterson. He could have used that as a counterexample. He could have yeah, been like, "Can exactly. I go to a delicatessen and make a Muslim uh, make me pork chops?" Yeah. But if you take a position and just immediately. Back, I mean, and and you know, somewhat, you know, against the PC or whatever, you know, you're you're just putting your position out there, and it's just there, and then you immediately, less than fifteen seconds later, completely just say, eh, yeah, maybe you're right. I mean, you look like a fool. I, I I don't know what else to say. Like it's just bad. Yeah, it's hard to follow a guy who his uh, foundation is so shaky, and he'll just change his mind immediately after one yeah. line of questioning. Like, wow, I just got roasted. Okay, yeah, you're right. I, and I was wrong. I, and it's not like well, uh, look, I'm not gonna well, say, oh, his career's over or whatever. No, I don't. Well, he's Canadian, so. so he's got no backbone. Yeah, well, plus, look, people make excuses for people they like. I mean, that's just how it goes always for anybody in any field of, you know, any line of work, whatever. If you like somebody, you're gonna make an excuse for them. Ah, it was an off day, whatever. But it it was it was a bad look. That that will say that. Yeah, go ahead, Gator. You were gonna say something. I was gonna say what he should have done is he should have just gone for broke and just been like, "Why don't you suck my dick?" It's like, well, why would I do that? It's like because because you're not a bigot. You got to prove you're not a bigot, right? Well, then you got to suck my dick live on air right now. He should have just stuck to his principles, or else just not say something like that. Like that's that's the thing. I mean, um, there are plenty of conservative thinkers who would, uh, you know, Pat Buchanan, and others who, who would say, "Yeah, I'm not I'm not racist or whatever," but I don't think businesses should be forced to serve customers they don't want to serve. And I absolutely think businesses should have the right of uh, exclusion. You know. I don't think in, in this day yeah. and age, you know, saying, you know, no darkies on, on your front of your building is going to get you very much uh, business, but. No, well, yeah, yeah. I would agree. And, and by the way, I will say now, can you look at the ruling and say, you know, society has been benefited, you know, been more integrated and, you know, people can, you know, there's not, you know, Jim Crow type stuff going on. Yeah. I mean, you could say that, but you also say it, it's not fair the way it happened. Like it would have happened naturally. There would have been less negative feeling among the populace had it happened naturally and by forcing it from the top down through court rulings you actually set race relations back with something like that you, you actually hit on the crux you increased animosity because it came from the top down it was judicial fiat it wasn't from you know any type of legislation and that you you made things worse basically with what you did so Go ahead. Yeah, Dan. you've hit on the crux of the divide between the right and the left today is that the left is progress or what we define as progress at any cost right now, you know, no no hesitation. Yeah, it's forced. And it's forced. And the problem is you create resentment when you basically tell somebody everything that you believe is now wrong because we say it's wrong. Now, would but it have taken like, longer? No, no, wait. Uh, Let me say this. Would, would it have taken longer? You know, you know, oh, yeah. for of sure. It, Almost I certainly. Mean, I, of course it would have. But yeah, go ahead, Asiris. Well, I, I, well, I, I mean, you know, the, it's, you know, the old line, you know, justice delayed is justice denied. You know, I but think that was Martin Luther King. Right? Like, well, well, are you calling Martin Luther King horseshit? How dare you, I mean, you, I'm not Sargon of a good man, so I'm not going to sit Oh, my God. We got a big... No, I'm... Look, obviously, yeah, obviously, people are allowed to have their beliefs. Um, I think that uh, I think that if today, if you put 
hey, no, no, the No Muslim Cafe, like in the middle of fucking Brooklyn where I live, if you were like, absolutely no Muslims allowed at this cafe, I think it would actually probably be pretty popular. Maybe. And I think, and, and you know, well, I mean, you look, hey, maybe not. I'm pitching a hypothetical here, you know, just like, uh, you well, know, but. Uh, thought. I, I would like to respond, but yeah, go ahead. But, no, I'm sh- sure. I mean, uh, you know, what I'd say is it's unfortunate that like racists and homophobes are always going to be racist and homophobic. And at some point you kind of can't wait for their kids, kids, kids to get it. Like, I think that, like, I don't think that gay marriage has kind of affected anybody's life on this chat. You know, it's like now gay people can get married. Okay, cool. Like more weddings. I really don't care about gay people getting married. I'll be honest with you. But when it's in for, I mean, me personally, I don't care. Sure. No, but, you're, you're you allowed know, not to okay, care. Okay, and I will make a, you know, put a caveat there. I care about, you know, six-year-old kids being talked about, you know, you know, transgender surgery and, nope. you know, shit like that. No, I'm not with that. I don't, I don't think a four-year-old has the knowledge and the, you know, presence of mind to say, I want to cut my fucking dick off or I want to become a man. Like, I don't, I don't think something like that is even reasonable to even consider. Uh, but as well, far I feel as, like you that's know, two different issues. I mean, what, yeah, it, why is, don't it we is, it is, but I'm just, I'm just putting just that out there. Marriage. As far as gay people getting married, I really don't care. But as far but when you think about the judiciary enforcing that versus it passing organically through, you know, referenda uh, across the states, it, it would have a lot more acceptance. Uh, whereas, you know, you see conservatives, you see bitter people now, and they're like, well, you know what? The Supreme Court just fucking enforced this on us. We didn't have a say in it. It didn't pass our state legislatures. We didn't vote on it. Matter of fact, when we did vote on it, we voted against it. And we still had it imposed on us. It causes res- resentment. That resentment never goes away. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Well, well the serious, no, let I, me ask you this real oh, quick. Sure. Um, as a liberal, wouldn't you prefer, and I, I think wouldn't we all prefer if these, uh, as some might say, bigoted bakers, if they were allowed <laughs> to openly say, hey, no, we don't want to serve gay people, because then you know who to spend your liberal dollars on. You know, not to patron the racist guy or the, the bigoted guy, wouldn't you prefer that as a system? I, I th- like, it's interesting. Like now, now I think we're talking about three like different things. Like I would actually just rather kind of talk about the top down because it's something I hear a lot. Like it's something my friend Dick has said before, like he would prefer that the Supreme, that like nine unelected judges not have the ability to tell people, you know, what they can settle at the ballot box. I was in LA, I think in 2004 when, California voted against gay marriage. You know, uh, it was like Proposition 8. Like, the liberal estate in the fucking union was against gay marriage. So, like, you know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I think it would be a lot better if if everybody kind of voted for basic things we can all agree on. Like, hey, shouldn't fucking Adam and Steve be able to have a wedding and shouldn't we leave them alone? Like, shouldn't they be able to, like, fucking uh, go get two tuxes or whatever and have a nice cake and have a nice party? Like, if one of them is dying in the hospital, shouldn't the other one have visitation rights? Like, if one of them works a job where they get where they get health insurance, shouldn't the other one be able to fucking get health? Like, is it really a big deal? If there, were, there, was a, there was a thing already. They had civil unions. It wasn't a marriage, but they had something else that was almost the same. Yeah, it was civil um, unions. Guess what? All the liberal politicians were all about, oh, civil unions. We don't want to go for gay marriage, this and that. And then all of a sudden they said, yeah, you know what? We need gay marriage. You know, civil unions, that's horseshit. Exactly. Um, the problem, and then they tried to paint everybody war. against gay marriage, full gay marriage, as, you know, extremists, anti-gay yep. people. And by the way, like I said, I really don't care. And, and, um, and yeah, wasn't Hillary be anti-gay better, marriage like be 10 years ago? She was. She was. Yeah, she and was. Obama was in 04. Yeah. yeah. Hey, but, they but, both but, were. What I'm saying is, and I really don't, like I said, I really don't care. Gays get married, whatever. But if it's not passed by the states, if it's not passed by, you know, localities rather than enforced by, you know, the Supreme Court of the United States, um, a lot of people are never going to accept it. Um, so. I, I, I mean, again, you know, to that, I would say, I think there's a lot of people that are, that are never going to accept gay marriage, period. I mean, probably. Like, yeah. yeah. But it, more it, people like, would accept it if it had passed in that way, rather than being if, enforced if by the judiciary. Them- that, that's just my point. That's just my no, point. No, I, 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 I mean, like, I think I like, I think you and I both would rather fucking 
good things happen through the democratic process. I will say that when you elect the president, that president nominates a Supreme Court justice and then the Senate ratifies that Supreme Court justice. So it's not like these guys are in like a fucking star chamber, you know, uh, you know, uh, Trump, like Neil Gorsuch didn't get put up and Trump's guy did. And like, now that guy's in like elections do have Actually, consequences. Gorsuch, it was, um, Gorsuch was the guy that Trump put up. It was, uh, Oh, no, I'm Obama. sorry. Yeah, it was What's Obama. Name? Obama fuck, guy. Merrick Garland. Merrick Garland. Is, yes, God damn it. I'm so sick that I didn't remember the, his name. Yes, Merrick Garland. Which is yes. maybe like the... I can't. That's He's going to really be the answer name. to a Jeopardy question uh, for the next 20 years. Uh, <laughs> Merrick Garland, yes. Uh, yeah, no, no, no you're, no, you're right about that. Like, uh, I mean, yeah, I would rather that... I would rather that when I was in... California in 2004, everybody had just voted for gay marriage because it seems like you and I both think it's not a big deal. I really like, don't care, but what I'm saying is yeah. I understand why this uh, causes resentment. Actually, and, and I know what you're saying is, well, you know what? Let's just enforce it. Let's just do it now. And we need this for society to progress. But, and you know, I, I don't know. I'm just asking, can you see the other side of the argument where is if we let it progress naturally – some of these things might be addressed in different ways. So you say all oh, these businesses weren't serving blacks during Jim Crow and stuff, and they weren't. Um, eventually, you know, mo you know, attitudes are going to change naturally. I, I don't know. I, I the, just, the thing is, there's there's another thing is when you force gay marriage like this, it is a slippery slope, and you can con contribute um, a lot of the things that, as you said, even you, Ralph, the you know, the tranny talks and this and that when, when kindergarten kids and things like that to to that. Um, the but yeah, so, and, and like and you can say, say is is, is yeah. throwing this straight into people's face, doing it like this, uh, it's a slippery slope. And we I think a lot they of go uh, right you know, down the line uh, from a from lot of race, a lot of, which is you know one of our big problems in our nation and always has been. They go from race and then they go to gay right. And like it's it's not everything is the same issue anyway yeah go ahead i'll just stop there i've yeah, ranted so, enough probably i mean by the way thank you for for hopping on monkey jones he said he, he had to hop out yes thank you sir so, we miss you monkey come back soon yeah monkey thank you very much for joining us i appreciate it you, i didn't even see that you. i was too busy uh huffing my yeah. own farts here but, with my, yes, my rants, but yes. little man he's so cool <laughs> yeah monkey's a good guy um he puts out like a fucking video a day and they're like long and hilarious. like i don't He's like a little goddamn comedy machine. It's yeah. so impressive. Yeah, he's, he's the anti-mundane Matt. There yes, because <laughs> I care about what Monkey says. And Monkey's yeah. always like trying to do something new and weird. He is so obsessed with, uh, what's the name of that serial murderer Monkey Jones uh, loves? Elliot Rogers. Yes. Elliot Rogers. The <laughs> super gentleman. Elliot Rogers. Great, great great gentleman. gentleman. <laughs> They're fucking so good. Um, but, but like, you know, to put a pit, cause, cause I, I thought you were trying to put a pit in it. Like, you know, yeah, go ahead. I, I could, I 100% understand that to a lot of the country, like, like, quote, you know, progress seems like it's being forced down people's throat. And I understand that like, nobody likes being told what to do. Just like, I don't like someone telling two gay guys not to get married. I totally understand that like someone doesn't like being told you got to make their cake like i un i absolutely under like in america the american dream is like to be left the fuck alone yes that's a large like, part of it yeah, yeah i yeah so i i i abs i absolutely understand that so like like to add a different kind of color to the discussion i think that i think that when you pass a law that says you're not allowed to ban black people from your diner that it kind of helps the next generation get it faster. I definitely, like, I bet in the 50s, people were having that same discussion, like, shouldn't this be left to the local? Shouldn't this be left to the local level? Shouldn't this be left to the states? Shouldn't this be left at the town level? Like, if I want to live in a town that believes in segregation, it's a tradition we've got. We got segregation. My dad did segregation. Like, why are you trying to change my traditions? Like, you know, this is, a, this is like a... This is like the fucking American conversation we're having here. Like they've been having this fucking conversation for 350 fucking years. Like, um, but, but just to wrap up, cause I'm sorry. I'm monologuing. Like, no, that's fine. I'll let you speak. I, I spoke plenty. Uh, it's just, uh, no, gonna, no, I, 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 gonna, I, I apologize. I, Go fucking, ahead. I, I know nobody wants to hear the liberal bladder. No, <laughs> no, nah, nah, look, dude, I'm completely fine with that. Yes. It's, it's just, I think that when like a little kid sees, Oh, 
hey, you're not allowed to do that anymore. Like, I think it might help them grow up in a way that's a bit more tolerant. I would just say this to finish, and of course sure, it's my sure. show, so I'll get the last word. But, of course, yes, um, sir. But, but I, I will <laughs> say, so you talk, you know, I, I just said I don't really care if gay people get married, uh, as long as they're not forcing churches to marry them and stuff like that. Um, but when you see, and, and we, you know, we can, because they group these agendas together themselves, you know, the gays, the lesbians, um, transgender, questioning, whatever, how many fucking letters they got. Um, so when people see, okay, you know what, most people, even if you look at the polls, they really don't care if gay people get married. I mean, that that's that's a poll. I think that's, what, 60% or something now. It's, it's around there anyway. Um, but then you see, oh, we want to teach little Jimmy, my six-year-old, about, you know, transgenderism. Uh, we, we want to talk about, you know, all kinds of, you know, acts that really shouldn't be talked about to your small child. Uh, we want to encourage, you know, four-year-olds to be able to declare, um, that they want to have a sex change and stuff like that. Um, that, that actually hurts the, the stated cause of these people in the first place because, uh, you know, normal people, and I'll say normal in my view, um, regular people see that and they just automatically recoil because they... They just understand that that, that just it's just it's insanity uh, for for a little kid to be able to say um, I want to you know cut my dick off and become a female. I mean that's that's just ridiculous, right? I I don't know. In my view, it, it, it's 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 kind of ridiculous. Um, now, if you're you know what, if you're fifteen, sixteen, I, I would say that's fine. You know, once you get to be that age and you decide that's what you want to do, all right, fine. I don't. I mean. I Whether I agree so. with it or not, do with it. No, no, look, once you get to be that age, that's fine. I, I don't, you're not, you're still 15, 16, you're still a kid. You're still a kid, but I, I, I I'll be willing to say, so. look, we let kids fucking get in a car when they're 16. I, I would put it at 16, to be honest with you. And we let them fight and okay. die at 18. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, I, 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 I would completely, be willing to. Uh, that's completely but, different. No, yeah, it's fine. You can disagree with me. I'm speaking for myself. I'm speaking for myself. But when you're fucking four, five, six, and I've seen those cases, like there's no way any sane person can get behind that, in my view. So yeah, I, um, I don't, I don't agree with that. Um, until you're 18 and adult, and you want to do it by yourself, that's again, you're an adult. You, I can't tell you what to do at that point. But 15, 16 is way too young, and driving a car is completely different than messing with hormones and changing your body. No, nah, it's a different comparison. But I'm just saying. Um, again, anyway. that I don't yeah. think that I think that the entire thing has been a slippery slope, and you see how. A society has been going down a downtrend like sex change this you have um you know gays and trans and transgenders coming to schools and teaching them about it and, and i don't agree with that at all i don't think any of this should be done at, in, in the instance and there's another push with with this going into pedophiles too and pedophile acceptance it keeps going it keeps going worse and worse and worse well that's I because was... the whole thing oh go ahead Asterius. oh oh no 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 please uh well, well, I think we're, I think that we all understand that. Like, we're now on a different topic, which is like, at what point do you introduce kids to the idea of the LGBT community? You know, um, like, I, uh, I, I mean, what I would say to that is, some of the examples that you are talking about are pretty extreme. Like, just personally speaking, I don't think that a four-year-old has the ability to kind of make big decisions. I know like a friend of mine had a kid and, and the kid for years was like, I'm not a boy, I'm a girl. And so I think what they did, I, not a close friend clearly, cause like, uh, but a, a comedy buddy of mine, I think what they did was like, they put the kid on hormones that kind of delayed the puberty for a little bit to kind of give the kid the time to like, well, what if this kid changes their mind when they're 11 or whatever? I don't know a ton about it, but, uh, but I do think that like, there are, I do think that it's cool that there are cartoons out there like Steven Universe. I know your chat is going to fucking freak out the moment I say that where it's like, okay, these two girls are in love. And I kind of don't think it's ever too early to introduce kids to the idea that like, yeah, sometimes boys kiss and sometimes girls kiss, mm. you know, cause if you're a kid and you're growing up with two dads, then it's not weird for you. Like that's just kind of what your life is. I, I definitely agree that, like, they're fucking weirdo screaming Tumblr assholes who are so far, are like to the left of fucking Karl Marx. And they are annoying and they fuck this conversation up. And so, a lot of the examples you're, you're talking about when it comes to like young trans kids making decisions, like, 
if some screaming Tumblr asshole thinks that a baby should be able to get a sex change, like, what are you going to do with that person? Like, yeah, I disagree with that. But, um, but, I, but I think that there's, like, another color to the conversation, which is just, like, hey, like, when I'm a kid, I'm fucking watching G.I. Joe, and Duke and Lady J are making out all over the place. Yeah, but so when you're I'm, a kid, so you might want to like, be, I don't know, Batman. Can, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't just know. just let kids be kids? Yeah. Well, why, why, why do we have to force them to watch, you know, gays and this and that? That's the like, yeah, GI Joe and stuff. That was in the eighties, and I mean, you see your parents kiss. Most parents during that time were, were you know, a man and a woman, so it's not like it was you know unnatural or something different. But I, like, uh -huh. why? Uh, Steven Universe is legit a kids show. Like, you know, ten and younger. Well, why do they need to be? Let why me read this. Need to be? Let me read this from the regular chat. Uh, Bilal says, "Ralph, do a welfare check on Jim. I think he necked himself." <laughs> oh, no, poor sweet Jim. Is he Jim or sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm eating while you guys talk about fake serious issues. Oh, wait, you're, you're like me, to just hot, eating into the microphone. Yes, uh, are you good jerking editing. it to our hot, hot conversation? Oh, mm. my God. Um, what I mean, I th All right, I don't just think put a pin in it. I'll give you the last word because I'm no, you give me the last word because well, I was okay. Silent. Let me please say do. This thing yes, we'll let God the guy damn talk. it, please save me. I don't let know. Let me, let me, let me, let me put this one thing out there and then I'll be like, look, Mr. Medicare thinks about this stuff all the time. I really want to hear what he has to say. Like, um, you know, yeah, I don't think you should force anything on a kid. I don't think you should force a kid into a room and make him watch cartoons of Duke and Lady J kissing. I don't think you should force a kid into a room and make him watch cartoons of two girls kissing. Yeah, I don't think you should force any of that shit. But I do think that when you have representation, and I know that's a word that triggers a lot. Of, I know the chats to be triggered when I say representation. I apologize for coming in your safe space. Like when you have when you have a cartoon like Steven Universe where it's like, hey, these two girls are in love and it's not a big deal. All right. And it, then I I feel like it kind of makes it kind of makes shit a little bit easier for gay people like for like like you know if you're like if you're young you're an adolescent and you got gay feelings and you're seeing it on tv and you're seeing gay characters in on in fucking uh what is it what's that goddamn sitcom the modern family you're seeing two gay dads it's like it makes the culture a little bit easier when right, you see right. positive I'm gonna representations I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to stop you there <laughs> oh, you're goddamn right i won't i'm a fucking liberal uh, jim please uh Please have the final word. Take us home. Well, yeah, I heard I heard bits and pieces of the conversation talking about how, well, you know, it's a left-left of Tumblr kind of thing that's pushing the really weird shit. But, I mean, I'd highlight an example like Jazz, which was a television show about a transgender child. So they grew up in that lifestyle, and it actually ended up damaging them even by their own standards because what they came to find out was being put on hormone blockers at such a young age ended up meaning their penis didn't develop. So when they wanted to go in and get surgery to have a, a new vagina, there wasn't enough, there wasn't enough uh, genitalia there to do it. And so now Jazz, who was living this you know, open, transgendered, accepting lifestyle, who went on the hormone blockers, who was told how great this was, is stuck in a miserable decision because they're going to be living the, their life with a micro penis. Um, I, I think what it kind of comes down to is it's not a push so much for equality, as it's a push for acceptance, right? It's not so much saying like, okay, everybody can have, you know, kind of this equal say under the law. It's almost like a forced push to say, you've got to like it too. It's got to go beyond tolerating it. You need to accept it and embrace it. We need to put it into the schools. We need to teach the kids how great it is. But, you know, when looking at it, you don't have to sit a four-year-old down and explain to them why mom and dad are kissing, why a straight couple's kissing. But we feel the need to sit down kids and say, well, when John, who really pretends to be a woman, is kissing Diane, that's natural and beautiful, too. Well, if it was so natural and beautiful, you wouldn't need to sit the fucking kid down to explain it to them. They would accept it as natural and beautiful. That's kind of my perspective on this. Yeah, I, I think I... I I know I'm terrible. I'm one of those. I, I'm the opposite of Astros here. No, I'm, I'm I, the I, horrible I, I, thing I, in a right way. You're the lift my glove at Steven Universe guy. And I'm a fucking blather machine. No, no, I'm trying to shut up because it's like I don't, I'm fucking monologuing and I don't no, like. It's no, okay. It's These kind of conversations are. are okay. I thought it was a good conversation. I know some in chat. It's, it's we're nice calling for me. To I, be I think we all agree we should let kids be fucking. Kids are stuck. Honestly, kids are fucking stupid, and I think everybody in this call can agree that there is. I mean, they're dumb as shit. And they'll believe yeah. the stupidest fucking crap. And they put a helmet on, they put a bucket on their head and they think they're a fucking astronaut. So I don't want to like, you know, I perfectly understand the argument that you don't want a four-year-old 
having their head filled with the knowledge that they can magically become something they aren't born as, mm -hmm. right? After all, we have kids, furries, goddamn. Well, kids will run with it, right? And so that's that's kind of the danger. But then again, I really do think the jazz example is important because this is somebody that really wanted to be transgender and their goal was to have a surgery to transition. But because they were on the hormone blockers, because they were told it was a good idea, because everybody was so accepting of it, it had the reverse effect. So I don't even know what's going to happen to them. Like, I don't know how they're going to live their life now because they are they are literally stuck as a man. They cannot do the surgery. There's no way they can ever do it. And they never developed as a boy. So the sexual functionality of being a male is gone now, too. So they're stuck at this weird, almost like um, oh, oh, uh, a eunuch state of non-sexuality. Like, that's going to drive them insane. Yeah. I mean, statistics show. You know what the stats say about about transgender well people. yeah i really do think yeah. transgenderism is a, like an offshoot and I, i'm sure there's medical literature that probably says something similar but a, like an offshoot of body dysmorphic disorder like it's somebody that sees himself as something else but you know it's weird we tell the dude that wants to take a hammer to his face to fix his nose that's stupid but we tell the dude that wants to be a chick that it's cool to cut his dick off yeah if that guy's got a fucked up nose i'd be like fucking fix that thing no, well, I mean, it's the crazy compulsive urge to do it. I mean, I, I think that plays a part in this whole thing. I mean, shit, I take it a step further. I, I really do believe that um, there might be, because I've seen a few studies, that there might be some credibility to the notion that homosexuality might actually be an epigenetic disorder. So I, I don't know. Right, but then we're going to get into even weirder fucking conversations, and Astros and I are going to bore the shit out of the chat. So let's talk about fun stuff. I, I, think, I think so. Okay, whoa. What a... Uh, why don't you bring up the next topic? Because we'll probably wrap up in the next fifteen minutes. So. Viva La Rasa! I, I don't. I was eating. I don't have a fucking right, subject. Right, well, I'll just read I've super chats. Let me just read oh, super chats as people were kind enough to give me right. money for this. The Seriously, next yes. topic is teen gay suicide. Oh, Let's get into it, boys. <laughs> Speaking good. of which, here's a video of Monday and Matt singing Spice Girls. Right. Oh, no, wait. Mike, I'm Mike, sorry. I'm what just going to read super chats. Just, just, just let me read this. I'm Mike sorry. Hunt says shekels only for the Ralph retort because fuck the crying children in cages. Good man, thank you. Uh, Elizabeth Elizabeth Bathory says two dollars so you can get DMCA on stream, Jim. Or oh, excuse me, DMC four on Steam, Jim. I I my my PC is uh, uh kaput yeah. and I, I need to replace a graphics card, but I because all the Bitcoin miners are cunts, they all cost like eight hundred dollars. So. Yes. Oh. I, I'm I'm making I'm making Labo stuff right now. I'm building the oh. forts and the outfits and just uh, yeah. Hey, I'll hold that's the door myself okay. doing, but uh, I will say that I bought I bought God of War a couple days ago and I got it for the low. So I've been playing that and it's it's pretty fucking good. I fucking love the new God of War. How long yeah. until you build a uh, a Labo Gundam? Oh well, you know that is my dream. I I was going to pitch something to Nintendo or to Nintendo based on this conversation. I thought maybe we could make the Labo R. And sell it to transgender people so they could build cardboard babies to know what it's like to be a real woman, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Spell it out, chat. I'm and sorry, I, I couldn't hear you. I'm looking at all these hot pictures of faces. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this girl! I would never ban her from my conference. She's got pigtails. Let's see. Maxwell Silver says I paid the Israeli Air Force to kill my name, Matt. Uh, Mike Hunt says, MRA Karen has been here lately. Hmm, I wonder what's keeping her away tonight. Go figure. Has she really? I haven't seen her in the chat. Uh, Karen Strawn of the uh, Money Badgers. I haven't actually seen her around. I saw her in somebody's stream the other day. I think it was Andy Worski's stream, uh, but I haven't seen her around here. Uh, Gear says, Cake Shop was contesting their being forced to create a custom work of art for the gay couple. They offered to sell them an off-the-shelf cake, which the couple refused. Obvious hit job. Stereos, puke, please. Yeah, we played your puke clip. Uh, oh my god! Yes, we did. I, I, I got that email to me. What What is the history behind that, by the way? Like, what What inspired the vomiting? Because I'm behind uh, the trend on this one. What, uh, I'm out of the loop. God damn! Why Why did I become friends with Dax? Um. All right. So, uh, so I was. It was. I had a cold. It was the day before Christmas, and I was. And I booked like four podcasts in a row, and. I was talking all day, and then at one point I just had a big old loogie in my throat, and then it became more than a loogie, and I threw up in the middle of a conversation about the Last Jedi. <laughs> Appropriate. Yeah, well, actually, what? Well, 
point. Oh my god. But you played it off like nothing happened. I uh, well, I'm a fucking comedian, <laughs> goddamn it! I had to get right back into my. But everybody heard the puke. They heard you go. Wah, wah, wah. Well, it wasn't live, but the guy chose to not only leave it in, but clip it. And send it to Dick Masterson. No, <laughs> so yeah. now everybody is hurt. He's, he sent it to me, too. I asked for it. Like yeah, He was on the, t- on the tweet. And, he, and I was like, oh, let me get it so I can play on, on here. And we played it on here. This is the rest of my life now, guys. <laughs> so don't become a comedian. Kids that are watching this, don't become a comedian. Let me read this. Uh, uh, Reganic, Reganic Wolf in the chat said, what happened to some of your older streams? A lot of them have been peacefully sunsetted for the, from the channel um, just for reasons. I just don't want to keep them up for too long. Some of the classics or whatever I have kept up anyway. Uh, but if you go to youtube.com slash killstreamarchive, also on Sound, soundcloud.com slash the Ralph Retort, we're on iTunes and all that. I don't know. I just... I'm a little paranoid about getting strikes on YouTube, basically, as well. I've, I've moved, uh, started moving some stuff off. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, you tell them you're afraid of strikes, then you throw it on iTunes for two bucks and make them pay twice. No, it's, com- nice. it's completely free on iTunes, Jim. And SoundCloud. But it's yes. worth $2. We can all agree. Now, I will say the $2 tier on Patreon gets you daily SoundCloud downloads. How about that? So, uh, but oh. that, yes, but other than that, they, they do end up on there within like a day or two anyway for free, so you don't have to pay. Uh, what else? Uh, Brent Herman says, hey, Mr. Liberal, when you talk about the 2004 gay marriage thing, Black shot it down. What you got to say about that? Actually, Blacks are... If you look at the like voting breakdowns, they're they're more anti-gay marriage than uh, than other races. Yeah, the African American vote was why gay marriage didn't win in California in two thousand four. Yeah, it was. Yep. Yeah. All right, well, I don't know. He admitted to that, so I don't know what to say. A problematic white knight says soy stereos is a retard. The global homo agenda is real. Look up uh, Glesson, or G-L-S-E-N. Gay marriage was a stepping stone. Maxwell Silver, sa- Silver says, No one cares about gay cakes. We gotta um, take care of Palestine. How about that? I won't uh, say what he said. Mike Hunt Wait, says, you won't say that, but you'll say everything else you've said? Yeah, but so, I've seen some strikes on some weird shit. Just don't. Anyway. Got it. Say um, no more. Especially when you start talking about uh, Palestinians and, and Muslims and stuff like that. Uh, Mike Hunt says, 1488 for your guest. Thumbs up, smiley face with sunglasses, and then it... Uh... I love that segue. Yeah, I don't want to talk about Palestine or Israel. <laughs> By the way, our guest no. says, 1488, Hitler was right. No, yes. but you know what? Okay. Oh. It's, that's true. Like, you know I'm right, though. If, you, if you're talking... Anyway, you know I'm right. Maxwell Silver says... <laughs> <laughs> Jews are the master race. Aryan um, homosexuals get the fuck out. Uh, Mike D says Jews subvert every country they inhibit. Wow, these super chats are going back and forth. Hoop and a very generous uh, super chat says thank you for the Ralph retort. Thank you as well for uh, supporting us. Nicholas says if Sargon is the soy father, can we name Jim the blood father? I don't know if Jim would accept that uh, title. White Slave Owner says, watch Aaron Kasparov. And then, uh, <laughs> I just refreshed. A Cloud Star says, the only progress that matters is the progression of the Space Force. Ataku Bullfrog says, let kids be kids, save the LGBT agenda until high school. And that's pretty much what I said earlier. And uh, some people flipped out, said I should be replaced by Zidane on my own show. Mike Hunt How says, dare they? Uh-oh. How dare they? Yes. Mike Hunt says Hollywood and the left have been pushing all this bullshit and their radical degenerate ideas really hard because Obama hated America. Nicholas says PC culture bullshit should be relative to their population in the country. If they account for 5%, give them 5% of the shows for representation. Every show does not need a black, a Jew, or a tranny, etc. Dogmunch Wait, says, I'm sorry, real quick. Have you seen that new show, A Black, A Jew, and A Tranny? It's really funny. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to. It's probably on it's Netflix. It's on Fox. 830, oh, Fox. 730 Central. <laughs> Dogmunch says, can't impregnate a turd, can you? No, I do not believe you can. Zero Zero says, how does the EP's boy feel about Nazi kids kids cartoons? I'm assuming he's talking about. There is? I don't no, know. No, wait, he's, talking about, he's probably talking to Medica, right? I don't know if I've ever been called the pee-pee boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me neither until this exact moment. <laughs> that is an original insult, I have to say. I've, I've never heard that before. It's OC. Um, it's OC. Edmund Poppy says, Kakino shits after he showers. 
Dribble chin. Uh, I, I, that's that's uh, another one I haven't heard. I all, I'm learning all sorts of new insults for myself. I gotta write some of these down. Uh, Lord Akiris. <laughs> Lord Akira says, Ralph, buy an XL18 flamethrower so you can roast the roasties. Also, Jim, make the Labo Gundam the F91. F91? That's going to take so much cardboard. I'm going to have to drive by every liquor store in the state <laughs> to gather up enough cardboard to make that a reality. Then Gear does a super chat that just says, sure. And then there was a Streamlabs that was uh, very large. Actually, it was for $148.80. I, I wonder what they could have meant with that. Um, and the donor's name was, for, speaking of Jim's riff, was fourteen eighty eight. He says, the only way forward for a healthy society is, um, I will say, get rid of the gay agendas. Uh, why should people be forced to tolerate this gay shit? And all gay shit are mostly anti-science agenda anyway. Just leave the gay alone in their little community and no one else inside. Just put them on the island. Shoot the island into space. Star Space Force. That's what it's for. Oh, if the Space Force was all gay, maybe people would like gay people more. No. I see what do you mean no? Come I see, on. I see another super chat while I was talking. Marcus Aurelius. V is the puppet master. Ralph is the puppet. Jesus, they keep coming in. Nick Coleman says, uh, R.I.P. Boogie, your mother can no longer hit you. Uh, White Slave Owner says, they're doing a remake of Apocalypse Now with an all-black cast. It's called A Pack of Lips Now. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Can right, we? That was good. Please. That was excellent. All right. Um, that is lit tonight. Certainly we have... See, I, I like this, Ralph. What you need to do is ask your chat when they do Super Chats to make them as racist as possible and then <laughs> pitch his Patreon in the middle of them so he's always associated with the show. Oh my god. Yes. Uh, this oh is genius. God. Jesus Christ. Oh, by the way, here's a, here's a topic. Um, and, and we're going to wrap up soon, I swear, because I have to leave. I'm going to go crazy. Um, not that I don't appreciate this. BuzzFeed News, is this a real... The World Health Organization no longer considers gender gender dysphoria to be a mental illness. Yeah, that that's actually they from, did that. They actually did that. Uh, WHO announced this week that it will no longer consider being transgender a mental illness, a move it hopes will combat stigma. It was taken out of mental health disorders because we had a better understanding that this wasn't actually a mental health condition. And leaving it there was causing stigma. So in order to reduce the stigma while also ensuring access to necessary health interventions, this was placed to a different chapter. Uh, uh, I will say this, just as long as we're talking about it. In 1987, they took homosexuality out of the DSM. Like for a long time, being gay was considered a mental disorder. Like, uh, you know, the fucking time moves on and we find different names for things and we find better ways to treat people. I mean, there's something mental going on where you, uh, I don't know. I'm Just listening. If you, whoa, cut, whoa, whoa. if you want to cut your dick off, like, doesn't that <laughs> seem like a mental problem? I, I don't know. I don't know. My friend seems pretty happy. Check on, the, him in, check on him in 10 years and get back to us. I, 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 I hope she's still talking to me in 10 years after I'm talking to all you guys. Well, I hope she's they can still talk. Really <laughs> suicide so rate. Oh, my friend God. Joan is going to be so pissed at me. He'll be fine. Oh, we're my, not, you we're know, not that bad. You don't know how liberals bad. are. We're not don't that bad. Know. We're yeah, good. You're, you're getting disowned. Oh, there's, yeah, he's blacklisted. Yeah, he's a done man. There's zero doubt that you get disowned. Gator! Oh, my God. Gator. You have to, man. I don't what even do know think? what the fuck is up All right, with you. I will send. I'm gonna mail you my now, old look, mic. We gotta get him a new mic. Like I don't, I don't know what it is. A, but I've got a snowball here, just sitting. The snowball mic. I'll just, e I'll just mail it to him. I'll just email it to him. It doesn't work. You, you guys know that thing where it's like, if you touch a baby duck, the mom no longer wants that duck. Yes. that's what it's like being a liberal talking to conservatives. Like liberals are just like, ew, you're talking to them. You're gross. And it's like, uh, uh okay. Don't, uh, don't Thanks, guys. Let me see this. Let me see this. Say this. Uh, Pat O'Man Fall Colors, which I don't even know if that's how you say it. And chat says, that sound was the PC police shooting down Asterios. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to point out the chat and everybody. What that the it fuck is, is wrong with, with your mic? Phone. Why don't you point if, that out? If oh. I plug, if I move literally my entire setup, to a completely different room it's perfectly fine the okay, problem well. is this building was wired like shit my room 
is on the same outlet as the dryer and the washer and the microwave. Literally, if all of those things run at the same time, the power in my room goes out. Why are you doing your laundry and cooking and showering while what? on this podcast? What's wrong with like, you? I have a roommate. <laughs> tell, tell him to stop. Stop Peaceful, it. Peacefully sunset your roommate. That would be my answer. <laughs> um, um, zero Zero says, how does Pause Boy... And he puts Asterios in, uh, in parentheses, just so we know uh, who he was speaking of. Feel about kids' cartoons promoting Nazism is normal. Just showing it is no big deal. Just normal. What is this Nazi cartoon <laughs> thing that people are... T- I don't know anything about this. It sounds pretty entertaining, better than most new cartoons, to be honest with you. Uh, Mike D says, tell Jim he will be spared on the day of the rope. Love the Ralph retort, by the way. I like how I'm not going to get spared on the, on the day of the Yeah, moment. you're a dead man. Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking dead. He still loves the Ralph retort, but you're fucking getting hung first. Thank you. Uh, White Slave Owner says, Why do monkeys always frown? They know in a million years they're going to be blacks. Oh. Now, so tell you can them, read that one. Patreon again? Pitch that Patreon right uh, now. Uh, oh, Patreon.com wow. slash Asterios. Our, our special <laughs> guest. Huge. Why did I do this? <laughs> I mean, no. Nah, let's just let's just. We've gone. How, Jim, how much? What are you how much plan? cash have you pulled in tonight? Like, what's know. the total? I mean, how much money do you make per month? What am I going to go count your money too? Like, what, what's? I don't know. I just think it's kind of impressive. It's like I'm seeing this hundred dollar donation. Like, I don't. I just. I've never really. I just think it's cool. No wait. How, no so wait a minute. How much do you make on Patreon per month? Three thousand three hundred dollars. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Way more than I make. So, like, oh, well, then I guess I'm better than I don't know. I just think <laughs> it's, uh, I, I just think it's like at the end of your stream, you should be like, we made this much because no. we're awesome. I just think it's cool that you're pulling in all these chats. I mean, oh, yeah, look, yeah, he I, thinks it's cool. He wants a total so he knows what to ask for for his cut when the stream is <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Seriously, like, exactly. I don't Give know. I don't, I don't hate on number. anybody. I don't hate on anybody making money. Even, you know, people got a problem with it. If people want to support your, your your content, whatever, like, it's all good. But I don't sit there and count count people. Um, although, I will say, um, <laughs> Dick has got this Patreon thing figured out. Like, wow. Oh, my he, God. He, yeah, that's pretty. Twenty five fucking grand. Well, it's the like the thing people don't understand about that. Like, cracked did a fucking article months ago, and they're like, the Dick Show is this weird conservative. It's like ninety five percent of the Dick Show is him complaining about his girlfriend or that someone broke his toilet, and he's making twenty five grand because he's like one of the funniest guys on the planet. He's been he's been like entertaining live audiences since he was fucking 19 or something like he's a like him and monkey and peach saliva like i know all these like weird comedy super people and it's it's kind of neat like good on that guy look i mean if people want to pay you like i just don't i I like to think we offer some type of value (laughs) i don't know this is entertaining as hell i've had so I haven't had this much fun on a podcast in a year. Uh, I don't, Thank I you don't know if, if that's the case or not, but we but we try. And and by the way, I I do appreciate you coming on. Um, I know some people are like, oh god, you know, liberal scum, whatever. I'm trying to, I don't know. I like having different opinions, and I think we had some good conversations. Uh, Look, Nor and M, I promise your audience, I won't come on too often. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Nor M, who happens to be my wife, she says, "You promised me bir- uh, biryani." And I'm still going to make biryani, believe it or not, even though it's 2.16 a.m. here on the East Coast. Uh, Cloudstar says, you compared liberals to animals, you bigot. Uh, John Titor says, Gator, thoughts on Pink, Giorno, and Blonde Fugo, which I have no idea what he thinks. Pink Giorno is fucking weird. I, I, I really think Giorno should be blue, but that's just me. All right. Um, right. I'm going to wrap this up. Jim, wh- what about your video content coming up lately? You've been, you've been putting stuff out, you know. Pretty, pretty, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm starting to get back onto a regular schedule. I've, I've got something about uh, Games Done Quick coming up uh, in like the next two or three days, and then the, the shooter thing, and then uh, Internet Insanity. So like three vids in the next week, week and a half. All right. When are we going on Plexorm? <laughs> oh, that I, I still have to set up, but I'm, I'm actually legitimately excited about that. I'm, I'm trying to think of what I want to open it with, and I think I want to open it with going to look at um, Fur Affinity and Ink Bunny, oh, and yeah. just uh, just oh, ripping God. apart those communities for a laugh. Yeah, right. I'm legit excited because just like a stream where you can do whatever you want and and you you have it where you can pull people in, 
Um, yeah, I think I think it has some. Well, I miss that. Yeah, you used to be able to do that. I mean, fuck, back in the day with like Justin TV and all that shit, when yeah. nobody was really paying attention to streaming, you could do the most absurd shit and be left alone. But now, you tell an off-color joke, or you you know you talk about something that's a little too spicy, and everybody's up your ass. So the idea that there's there are places you can go now to say whatever the fuck you want or show whatever the fuck you want is kind of nice. It's very appealing. Yeah, yeah but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna jet. Uh, it's yeah, been fun, go guys. ahead, because I'm about to jet too. Thank you, man, for coming on. I appreciate it. Yeah, it yeah, was, and Mr. Macker, thank you again. Like, yeah, we disagree on some things. Thank you again for backing me and Dick up. That was very, very cool. You like the whole world was coming down on us, and it, it was like a lifeline. So, thank you. Yeah, it's not a problem. Like I said, I, I think Maddox is a dick. I thought the lawsuit was a joke. Um, you know, and it, it, it was absurd and stupid. And I've liked how it's just devolved into this, uh, never-ending circus of making Maddox look like an idiot in front of the entire world. <laughs> yeah, And that's his legacy. I mean, he fucked his legacy with that. And I don't think he really... that. I don't think that's dawned on him yet, but like in a year, he's going to be so fucking depressed about it because <laughs> that's what everybody's going to know about You know about him uh, is that he's the asshole that sued for $300 million. His fucking lawyer, literally, and there's a transcript of this, his lawyer is like... His lawyer says, like, being called the cuck is an attack on his very manhood. And it's like, this is going to be around forever. You paid a guy to defend your manhood in court because you don't have any. This is so great. Yeah, that's the best part, too. I put a tweet out to him um, with his video about Cuck saying it was a great thing and empowering. And the <laughs> lawyer's script saying that it was the you know biggest insult you could call a guy. And I put it over the video. Uh, and he, he, he fucking uh, hit me with a harassment strike for that. <laughs> yep, <laughs> of course he did. Of course he did. <laughs> He can't uh, take it. He can't take it in post. But uh, yeah, you right, guys Jim, have, a, you have a good, good weekend, weekend, man. 